But now it's time to talk about WCW Monday Nitro for February seventh, two thousand. We are fresh mm. into Y two K. God, yes, and WCW is uh, well, they're they're doing a show. What the, the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening in this show, that, man? Listen, I don't know. Uh, but do you want to have a quick rundown of what was happening on the competition? Sure. Give it to oh, we're doing the competition? Here. I forgot. Yeah. We, never, we haven't, we done, haven't the done this in a while. I don't know. In a while. Yeah, yeah we, I, we just stopped doing it for some the reason. The Monday so Night War. Let's check out what was happening on February 7th, uh, 2000. It's, it's going to turn out we already reviewed that. Raw. I remember <laughs> that we did that. And we're like, oh, fuck. I think we reviewed um, that. WWF Raw, February 7th, 2000 from Dallas, Texas. Um, New Age Outlaws. Uh, defeated Christian and Edge to retain the WF tag titles in six minutes. All right. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Kurt Angle defeated Mark Henry by DQ in two minutes. Okay. Um, the Hollies, Crash and Hardcore, defeated the Acolytes in a hardcore tag team match in two minutes. They beat them. Wow. Yeah. In two minutes? Wow. I two minutes. Imagine. 239. I imagine it was shenanigans, but this is Yeah, tell yeah, me for that. sure. Uh, Chris Jericho beat Viscera by DQ to retain the IC title in three minutes. Is there uh, give it to, to him? These? No, he did no, James. <laughs> he wasn't doing that yet. Why hasn't he done anal destruction no, he yet? Doesn't do <laughs> At what point does he start doing anal destruction? <laughs> That's in like five years later. We need the time more. Line. <laughs> There's way more time left. You think he, you think he did that in the boys backstage? Like you're just playing around or whatever? Like, <laughs> do, do I think do, what? Do, 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 do you think that? Yeah, you, you know, you know the story of how Austin got what? Where he was just calling Christian. He's like, what? I, what? what? That's how it worked with this way. Just. Do Vince Dude, or was just he was just giving him the business backstage. <laughs> like, like, you should do that on TV. <laughs> well, the, there's two. I mean, that's as much as I want to deny <laughs> this rumor. There is two things about Viscera that make me think it could be true. One, that there's a story that he used to pop Viagra and sit backstage with a big hard cock all the time. <laughs> He oh, he's, he's, he's popping biggies. He's got <laughs> yeah. grandpa pills backstage with the boys. Big V dog back here. Y'all ever V-dogs. hang out with the boys and pop grandpa pills? He That's awesome. Just, <laughs> he was just popping Yo, Viagra and just dude. sitting around oh, real hard God. all the time. And uh, his theme song, the actual title of his theme song was <laughs> "Fuck Me." <laughs> 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 so, as much as I want to deny, oh the God, being there. that was the name of it when he was in the ministry. Oh. It was called "Fuck Me." Wow, I, I believe that's the one, dude. Yeah. I love this motherfucker like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> this dude, Viscera, is crazy. <laughs> is he talking about King Mabel? Hell yeah! Yeah, there ain't no King. destruction. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, Jacqueline defeated Luna. <laughs> oh, it's Luna. Hey, Luna <laughs> <laughs> He was you with Italian. Hey, dude, hey, I am I'm Luna over here <laughs> of the anti-Italian sex show. Hey, hey, pussy Marcy lips. Lamps. Hey, hey, hey pussy uh, to re- lips. Retain the women's championship in a minute and fifteen seconds. Wow, the Dudley great boys match, of minute. Bubba Ray Dudley and Devon Dudley defeated D'Lo Brown and the Godfather with Ho in three minutes. Was he with Bubba? Ho? He was buh buh. B U H B U H. Which is buh, I, buh. I I guess that was the stutter thing, but I, I buh, don't think buh, he was buh. I think he was just Bubba in ECW, buh, wasn't he? Buh. I don't think it was Bubba. Buh. Um, I think he was Bubba for a minute. Oh really? Okay, yeah. maybe you're right. I'll have to check the video again. Oh wait, was he, he was in a, ECW he was video? Bubba and he was buh buh. No, I don't think he was in ECW, oh, ECW when the video game came out. Maybe not, no. Yeah. Um, and in the main event, uh, Chris Benoit, Dean Malenko, Perry Saturn, Triple H, and X Pac with Eddie Guerrero, Stephanie McMahon, and Tori <laughs> defeated Cactus Jack, Rikishi, The Rock. And too cool in a ten man tag, and I think that's what? the one where where Kane comes back. Ten man tag. What is that? The glass. Remember when Kane, Kane came back, came back with, out? Yeah, where where <laughs> where uh, Paul Bearer was in the big red jacket, and Kane came out, and it was awesome. He oh, I did, you know what? I remember the red jacket the most. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Paul Bearer comes out on stage, and he's looking real smug. Yeah, yeah. yeah the close up on his face. Yeah. So yeah, that was cool. that was the episode of Raw, which sounds. I mean, it sounds, I don't know, I want to say it sounds better, but this WCW show, I don't think it was bad. It was just fucked. <laughs> there was so just, much going on, dude. Really Do you have fucked. like a, is there ratings for this? I wonder if there's a I'll try ratings. to get it. Start the show and I'll, uh, yeah, yeah that's I'll, fine. I'll I was just wondering if, like, um, how it was at the time. Yeah. But, All right, yeah. so let's uh, talk about what happened here in the beginning. So we have a little All bit right. of a cold open to start Nitro. They kind of go over what's happened in the last few weeks on Thunder and Nitro. Uh, Kevin Nash has assigned Jeff Jarrett as the acting commissioner of WCW Monday Nitro. I'm not entirely yes. sure if he also does Thunder, but then again, I feel like WCW didn't even want to do Thunder, so they nobody, probably didn't care. Nobody did no, Thunder, they, actually. They just they did whatever did they wanted not, on Thunder. No. Yeah. N- yeah. Nash was like, shoot, injured or away, or so there was something going on with Kevin Nash. That they, was, I feel like they said on 
maybe that was reading something else. Oh, no, I he. I mean, I feel like Nash was hurt quite often. <laughs> he was hurt. Yes, yeah, he was uh, hurt. <laughs> <having> so this, <laughs> surgery. Okay, so NW two thousand was pretty fucked. Like Bret Hart came in, Nash was there. Uh, Bret Hart got kicked in the head by Goldberg, and then he had to yes. leave. And then Nash got hurt and left. So it was pretty much uh, Jeff Jarrett, hurt. the Harris brothers, <laughs> Scott Steiner, Scott Hall, who like eventually Is leaves them. I think right. right? Okay, I think fuck. I have the ratings here. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so I believe this episode of Nitro did a 2.7, Okay. and Raw uh, allegedly did a 6.5. Whoa. <laughs> no, that, that sounds actually correct. Which Raw was is, just slaughtering them wow, at the time. But, that's wow, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, that is. Wow. So as Tony said, Steiner, uh, yeah, the Harris brothers, Steiner has invited <laughs> the Harris brothers into the NWO, and they for said, front, sure, front, we'd love to. Yeah. <laughs> Jarrett, uh, NWO 2000 is taken over. Jarrett books Sid in three matches on the last episode of Nitro. One against Bray Wyatt's dad, one against Rick Steiner, and one against the Harris brothers in a cage. Yeah, uh, so this is a triple threat theater, is what they yeah. call yeah. it. He stopped, exactly. actually, Jarrett actually stopped explaining the, the stipulations <laughs> about halfway through. He goes, yeah, we're going to have a... Submission match against Mike Rotundo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike yeah. Rotundo. Uh, and then he goes, and there's a Rick Steiner match. And there's also, <laughs> he goes, there's a handicap match against the Harris brothers. And then it shows footage of the match, and it's a steel cage match. Yeah. Okay, we just, cool. all right. Thank you. Uh, so, Sid wins <laughs> forehead <laughs> Sid beats does. everybody um, did you see the, the the Rick Steiner thing though where there's like a pipe or a baseball bat that randomly hit both Rick Steiner and Sid and then Sid <laughs> falls on top of Rick that Steiner and gets the pin that was such a crazy finish yeah, yeah that was pretty nuts that's so fucked he like up. peeked also, out of the curtain yeah also Jar Jarrett decide who his opponent was for Super Bowl and it's him ha 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 Sid beats them all but then Jerry comes in and hits him with the guitar <laughs> hell yeah which is every fucking True. Jerry moment it's, this that's been every I don't think I think that was every Jared storyline forever yeah uh, it's Someone perfect with a guitar I do love guitar hits it's great and, and then they spray paint him with the N-W-O but the silver guitar. yeah Jerry the uses silver, silver. Because it's NWO 2000. There you go. And then he also says, he says he will take bribes. I just wanted to put that in there too. Okay. Yeah, it says, I will also take Thanks. bribes. So, cool. uh, so we go backstage. The NWO is back there. Uh, they're backstage with Steiner's freaks. I don't think Steiner they're, was back here though. They're in the smallest locker room you could imagine. <laughs> this is a closet, this fucking thing. There's two couches in it and there's 10 people in there and they're all <laughs> hip there. This what is, is happening so here? fucked because they're, okay, so like, as this backstage thing's going on, three counts in the ring, and their fucking music is playing so loud at the same time. I cannot hear a word that they're saying in this NWO locker room. All I hear is this three count music just blasting in the headset. No commentators or anything. They're just it's, fucking all these and it's ten not even people like just are trying at to the talk. End, it's not like just at the end of it either, where it's like segueing into it. Like this three count segment goes on for three minutes before we fucking see it, and you can hear it this whole time. So I think what the what's supposed to happen is like you know they make their entrance pre tape before they go yeah. live to the arena. So then it's just so fucked. You can't hear anything at all. It's so <laughs> loud. I have no <laughs> idea what do you what did the end of even say at this time? I couldn't I, even hear him. I think they were just talking shit about. Sid and stuff, and yeah. uh, Hall was saying Nash is going to be back, and uh, Jarrett said Sid will be begging to get rid of his belt on eBay after tonight. Was there was oh, okay. there a uh, was there an intro to this or no? D no, there wasn't. I didn't see oh, an no. intro. There wasn't. There, there was, no there, was the, there was that slow WCW the logo recap. at the beginning. Yeah, they with the yeah. like, open and yeah. that WCW logO that I never knew That's was right, WCW. Yeah, I guess there was no intro. You're right. Yeah. Um, Weird. Also, by the time we get to three count. Uh, I think three count is even confused about what's going on. They, <laughs> they look very confused. Um, so this this stage isn't the this is the WCW 2000 stage. So it's got the yes, logo. With the uh, it's just the big. Logo. I actually like this. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it's as good as when it had WCW on the side with the spinny twirly gimmicks, but uh, I, I like. I actually kind of like this I, entrance. I, I remember out. the stage a lot, but I I was a bigger fan of the gigantic fucking Tron that they had. I oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This Everyone one I found out I didn't actually know that the gimmick slid open, the words underneath slid open and people came through it. I didn't know it was a sliding gimmick. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, that is cool. I, love I didn't notice that until like later, but yeah, that's crazy. Who oh, one of my that? favorite stages of all time was the Madison Square Garden stage where it just kind of went Oh. I like yeah. that. Oh, that was dope. 
Yeah, that's cool. um so three count is in the ring. Uh three count wants to perform their music, which has been going on forever on super the show. It's on been... the network. Horribly dumb. Yeah, super, super <laughs> dumb. Horribly. Uh they say they have a contest for all the ladies out there. You get a chance to win a date with three count. Oh yeah. Um yeah, the dub is fucked. I mean, everything just so sounds horrible not, here. Not only is the dub fucked, but the actual show, the gimmick is that their music is being fucked with by Norman Smiley in the back. So whoever had to dub this had to try to sync up the song being fucked up at the same time. It, I wonder so what it, it just it sounds horrible. Sounds like because it doesn't sound good here. I wonder if it sounds no. better. Well, I on mean, the it, original it, it, version. The idea was he it. was fucking with the music, so it wasn't supposed to sound good. But this actually sounded. It made super it even more awkward. It made yeah. it actually made them it all made it seem off. Yeah, yeah it was weird. <laughs> um, so Evan Courageous says to hit the music, but the music's been playing the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> The music actually been playing. I wonder for if that's 10 just a network now. thing. Do you think that's a network thing, or do you think it was actually no, on the that, actual? No, I think that that music was playing. Just because it was it... how it was. Okay. Because of the music, the music ain't stopped since the backstage <laughs> of the NWO. Um, so it it pans back to the the production truck and Norman Smiley's in the back, <laughs> fucking with the music, wiggling. He's wiggling. <laughs> it's wiggling and it's disrupting the the waves. You can't stop this fucking music, There's man. There's too much wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> and then Norman's standing back there and his theme hits. But Norman, the music is just so fucked at this time that Norman didn't even realize his music was playing. He's like, he stops for a minute, stares. He's hearing music playing and he goes, oh yeah, that's my music. <laughs> Get out of and here. He starts doing the big wiggle dance. He's like, oh, I got to get anyway. He wiggles out of the truck. <laughs> I love how he literally, it's like almost a chore for him to have to wrestle a match. He just wants to get to the big wiggle. <laughs> he yeah, just wants to, it's wiggle that's, time. That's all I want to see too. Uh, so Norman has beaten everyone in the group so far. I don't think he's beaten Evan Courageous, which is why he's having Correct. a match here tonight. So Norman Smiley's gimmick was, I will ass fuck you. And then yeah. people loved it. And anal destruction? Yeah. I'm yes, gonna set you, anal yeah, destruction. He was, he was OG Viscera. He was like, I'm going to set you up and I'm going to fuck you in the ass. And the crowd popped for it. You think he popped Viggy's in the back with the boys? I don't think he needed to. <laughs> oh, he was already stuck. <laughs> up. I called him Big for a reason, you know? <laughs> there were some um, fun signs in the crowd here as well. I have, uh, yeah, I have some written like, down, too. WWF sucks. Uh, insane clown posse. And then... Dude, what was up with all the ICP uh, signs? Were a lot like, of ICP. I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. Big, uh, big uh, Juggalo and Juggalettes in Oklahoma. There was also... The Roman Reigns logo. What the hell? <laughs> is that, that was just there the whole time. <laughs> time travel <laughs> dumb that in. What the fuck is going on here? Dude, that was right, I, have, I have a couple <laughs> other signs here that I thought were pretty good. Okay. Uh, there was one that said Haas Foundation. I don't know why I thought okay. that was good. Um, Haas or Will, ha like H -O -S -S, Haas? Haas oh, okay, Foundation. Okay. Will wrestle for beer sign. I always love seeing I that I do one. remember that oh, one. Norman those, Smiley yeah. is my dad. Norman is That's hardcore. Probably true. And then mm -hmm. Foley lied sign, Dude, which I okay. don't know yeah, what Foley was, lied about. That was there for ho the whole show? What did Foley lie about? I don't know. Could be anything. You want to you make up something? Uh, yeah, he lied about Christmas, you fuck. What a piece of fucking shit, dude. I can't believe it, bro. <laughs> Man, lied to me all was. these years oh, about Christmas. Shit. So Norman Smiley gets the roll up, and he beats him. So he's officially yeah. beaten everyone in three counts so far. <laughs> in um, a fun outfit, too. He was wearing a Tulsa Oilers hockey jersey here. He beat Shannon Moore. Dressed up as a catcher, <laughs> and he, oh no, he beat, uh, he beat Shane, oh yeah, he beat Shannon Moore, dressed up as a catcher, and he beat Shane Helms, dressed up as the Kiss Demon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's, there's like 80 people in the show dressed up as the Kiss Demon at all times. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I don't either, Kiss. Man. I fucking love Kiss. <laughs> uh, Eric I'm a big Kiss guy. At one point, Mark Madden says, uh, I don't know why I thought this was funny, Mark Madden, he kind of sucks, but he said, uh, right, his suck. three favorite bands are Led Zeppelin, Three Count, and the Eagles. I thought that was a pretty good compilation of favorite bands. <laughs> Mark <Yeah>. Madden <laughs> sucks. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> He uh, lasts a while somehow in this era, and then the company dies, so who knows Tony Schiavone <laughs> is so fed up with Mark Madden the entire night. Like, he's not even giving him anything. He's like, yeah, I whatever. I think Tony Schiavone's fed up in general, to be fair. Every time there's a woman on the screen, Tony has to remind everyone. He's like, look, man, I'm married. I'm, I'm sorry. I like, Tony's I don't personally sorry. get this, but whatever. Tony's like, I'm getting too old for this shit, man. I just <laughs> want to talk about, I just want to go call some baseball. Let me, please let me go. Or Tony. <laughs> <laughs> he's been through the trenches, dude. He's like, this sucks. Get me but out. Here. As James said, Danny Hodge is at ringside here, very old, and he loved it. God, he loves Norman Smiley. Just loves, loves him. him. Yeah. Uh, Norman Smiley then grabs the mic and goes, uh, yeah, so I guess we'll just run this back at Super Brawl. Anyways, it's wiggle time! <laughs> it's wiggle time here in Tulsa. <laughs> yeah, you know, was I'm awesome. Gonna, I'm going to fight all of you. All right, cool. Yeah, he so says, it's wiggle time, and then his music doesn't hit, 
And he says, uh, I said, it's wiggle time. Huh? <laughs> and then they hit his music finally and he starts dancing. He starts wiggling. So I guess it's Norman Smiley versus three count at Super Brawl. All of them. Just yes. one on three. Yep. It's a handicap match at Super Brawl. Nitro is brought to you by Western Union. Is this Great. the only sponsor they ever had? Well, that's the only one they had left. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe they didn't have DBZ Ultimate Battle 22. <laughs> they couldn't get Stacker 2, bro. It's not happening here. Mark Madden and Tony announced Terry Funk versus David Flair later in an I Quit match. It was supposed Which, to be Ric Flair, but yes. Ric Flair, I don't, he is dude, just off this, his shit, dude. This whole storyline is so confusing, but I actually unironically love it. <laughs> yeah, I, love, I think it's good too. Funk sells it, the hell out of it, dude. That match later, we'll get to it, but. It's my favorite match of the show. Yeah, Funk was yeah, Funk fun. actually looked like he bought into it at the very end. Like yeah. when he was cutting oh, that last yeah, yeah. bit During of the, the match. If anyone was so gonna good, sell it, yeah. it's him, I think. Yeah, he's he's just great, man. Yeah. So we go backstage. Jay Biggs is leading the police in the back where Booker's bags are. Booker is in control of illegal contraband. <laughs> so check this his bag. Is- Shortly after Booker T lost the T in his name to Ahmed Johnson. He lost Johnson. everything, man. They're taking <laughs> everything from this yeah. guy. <laughs> he lost his theme song. He lost the T. He is now just Booker. Uh, and I believe he also lost Harlem Heat. Dude, yeah, he's not he's not an official member of Harlem Heat anymore. He yeah. doesn't own the he's, rights to can't it. Can't have nothing. This is actually I like this actually I quite a bit. I kind of do too. Yeah. <laughs> like I like that Booker lost the rights to the T in his name. <laughs> They gave it to Big T. <laughs> Jay Biggs, also known as Ahmed Johnson. Ahmed John, who is much larger now. Jay Biggs also said that he was going to copyright strike Booker T for using his thesis. <laughs> oh, he's going he's to fucking put a claim on him, bro? <laughs> copy strike Booker oh, right my. now. No. Right now. Copy strike. Copy. <laughs> Uh, so Jeff Jarrett and the Harris brothers are walking to the ring backstage. We see that quite a bit. I think they just like that transition. They walk I everywhere in WCW. Yeah. I like it. Uh, yeah. So a black limo rides up and three beautiful women step out of the car and then last, Ric Flair. Woo! Woo! Uh, and, and then it shows yeah, a graphic that's, for that's... Sid versus Jared at Super Brawl. So uh, I guess I'll I'll talk about it now because they show them throughout the night. Okay. These graphics... Do they have four different people producing graphics? <laughs> because Maybe. they are all over the place. There's different picture quality in every fucking graphic. Even the graphics in the Super Brawl advertisements. I feel like some, like, they use one for Hogan later. I feel like it's a WWF 1993 picture of him <laughs> that they oh, use. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's so weird. Like, it's all, and they, at I don't one know point, what's going don't on. Don't they use, like, a... They actually use like a still image in the ring of one of the graphics, I think, yeah, at one point. Yeah, There's like, like still images from, like not even cut outs, just like still images from the ring. I don't even know what they're it is. They're advertising Sid versus Scott Hall, and the graphic is Sid looking cool, and Scott Hall sitting backstage. <laughs> <laughs> they just cut that out right then. So yeah, five minutes like, earlier, probably. Yeah. yeah, like what the, f- there's no other pictures of Scott Hall. <laughs> so they, uh, I, love the, I love the idea that WCW never took any promotional pictures of anyone on their <laughs> roster. They didn't, even, they didn't even know who was on the roster roster half the time they just had people kind yeah. of show up they get seven seven hundred fifty thousand dollars a year just whatever just be here yeah just go we need you. do something produce anything and we're not going to check it and we're just going to put it on tv super <laughs> brawl i actually it's funny because i think super brawl is the bet one of the best wrestling pay-per-view names of all time i think that's it's such awesome. a fucking pro it's wrestling a good name, name ever. Yeah. Um, but yeah the graphics you're right were just crazy so uh, weird in the in the sid versus Jarrett graphic it literally looked like Jarrett was sid's kid like he was gonna <laughs> like yeah we got a big they made him look real small <laughs> got a big birthday party coming up here you want to head to super brawl yeah it was real fucked up yeah speaking of fucked up dude oh no scott steiner is Ooh. here baby there's a wow. reason that scott steiner wasn't backstage in the nwo thing is because he didn't want to take off this pimp outfit <laughs> he didn't want to expose the full purple pimp outfit that he came out in it's the nwo 2000 steiner the harris brothers Jarrett, the freaks <laughs> and <laughs> scott w- Hall. oh uh this so the reason we decided to watch this episode is for this promo. <laughs> this is everything else is the, a bonus. The Scott Steiner promo. If you ever wanted a Scott yeah. Steiner promo, this is the one to I'd watch. I'd say this is peak Steiner out of control. I think they gave him. I feel like this segment was supposed to be five minutes, and Steiner said fifteen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I got and some all, shit I want to talk about. They gave him a bunch of bullet points, and he hit none of them. <laughs> Not even one of them. It, prom- it promoted no matches. <laughs> It was very good. <laughs> it was great. Uh, so 
they come, they all come out. It's it's yeah. It's Scott Hall and Jarrett yes. and Steiner and everybody here. And Steiner and his freaks. He comes out with the freaks. And then Mark Madden says, "Tony, you're you're a man who has needs. Which NWO girl do you like best? I like the blonde one, Tylene." And then what does Tony say? You probably have this written down, Johnny. I didn't. I don't have this. I actually oh, don't Tony remember. Tony says, uh, "You know, I'm a family man, but you know, I like April and Kim. They're they're both really good." <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember Major Guns being in the NWO. I don't either. She doesn't either. Neither did WCW, <laughs> nor did NWO remember that. Well, great. Uh, Mark Madden is screaming at the top of his lungs as Scott Hall has the microphone. Say it! Say, Say it! it! <laughs> and Scott Hall will not hit the... Hey, yo. He won't do it. He doesn't, dude. Scott no. Hall doesn't say it. We stand Bullshit. unproblematic king. The Harris Brothers start screaming. Oh, no. Scree- <laughs> Harris Brothers <laughs> grab the- say it. <laughs> Just a generic... Fucking promo from this dude. Yeah, they I don't go, know which NWO one of in the house. Shut up. Go what away. What we have yeah, standing no here in this ring is the elite. The the elite. That's what he said. <laughs> I wrote that like, elite, <laughs> elite, elite, elite. I was like, oh, that. shit. All right, cool. Uh, so they hand the microphone off to Scott Steiner, and immediately Tony Schiavone goes, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Please, we cannot. I can't stress enough this outfit he has on. It's a big purple jacket. It's like the Godfather, really. It's the, God, it's the Godfather. The Godfather never looked this good, though. It's absurd <laughs> that Big they let hat. him do it, this. It's, it's like he went to one of those Halloween costume shops and got pimp outfit off the yes. wall and put Dude, that on. At one point, he finally takes off this outfit. He takes his glasses off. There's another set of glasses <laughs> underneath it. <laughs> oh, it looks like he stole the outfit from uh, the artist formerly known as Prince Ikea. I wonder if he just stole that guy's <laughs> outfit and wore it to the ring. He, I think Sid... Oh, no. Lex Luger injured him, didn't he? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Fuck that Dog, guy. This, this can never exist ever in wrestling again. Oh, no. No, this no, no. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience that you will never get to experience again. This is, this is incredible. Th- primetime TV crazy. this happened on. This happened on primetime television. Two During, weeks in a row here yes. on Deadlock, I we get to to praise the gospel of Scott Steiner, man. One of the greatest of all time, never to be replicated. It literally cannot and will not ever happen again. So you you um, can't compare last week's Scott Steiner to this one though. This is no, a whole this is freak. the definitive Scott Steiner experience. Yeah. Oh, if you want the Scott Steiner, if someone goes, why do you like Scott Steiner? Yeah, what Point is it about him here? Yes. Right here, and you will get the full <laughs> mantra of Scott Steiner. Dude, he should so, start a podcast called The Scott Steiner Experience. He oh, probably shouldn't. <laughs> I would love that. He shit. probably should not have a mic unless it's heavily edited. Dude, he's going to start the podcast off, and the first thing he's going to say, bro, this goes to all my freaks out there, and Ric Flair, you old fuck. <laughs> Dude, he's this got God. some all-time liners in this thing, dude. He shits oh my over God. everything, and it le- it go. There's no, there's no. He, it doesn't lead to anything. He does. I don't even started, know if he wrestles okay, at Super Brawl. I, I wrote this like I had to write like this whole thing down. I wrote this whole fucking thing down. He says, dude, "When Big Papa Pump comes to town, my hoochies come around." They censored hoochies as well. Did they? Oh yeah, shit. I think so. Dude, Steiner doesn't have a match at Super Brawl. <laughs> What is He's he not booked here? on the show at all. No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was on like the whiteboard or whatever. You know. Oh, NWO Maybe. promo. You have like twenty whatever. There's your segment time. So Go there's, out there was no, this wasn't supposed to be here. This, James, this wasn't take supposed us through to be here. This promo. Okay. So first thing he says, he grabs the microphone. Tony Schiavone says, "Oh no, okay, this is going to be an all timer. This is it." Um, whenever I think of the, whenever I do the Ric Flair, you old fuck bit, yes. this is the it's promo. This, this yeah. is it. This uh-huh. is what comes yeah. to my mind. Um, so yeah, he goes, when Big Papa Pump comes to town, all my hoochies come around and the crowd <laughs> yeah. goes, yeah, fuck yeah. They love what this hoochies? guy. Super over, man. Yes. Incredibly over. And and then he goes straight into, and it's a shame we had to leave LA and come to this cesspool <laughs> called Tulsa. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. Like, oh yeah, he's a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, last night when I was kicking it in the booty hole, proving that I was the daddy, that I was the king of the night. But I'm not one to brag, so Madeja and Kim tell him what it's like to be with the purple warrior. <laughs> purple warrior. <laughs> Mark goes, the what? The, what? <laughs> the fucking purple so warrior. Fuck. 
The what? purple He's warrior. He's never worn purple before. <laughs> the purple warrior is straight out of Tulsa. So, so we're to believe that he was wearing this last night, the yes. purple outfit, and he was out in section eight. He just kept it on and went to Nitro. So Freak Kim says he's not just anyone. He's mm. our Superman. Yeah. And Scott Dan goes, you're damn straight. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> he goes, you damn straight. He rips the jacket off to reveal the S shirt that is not Superman. It stands for Scott Steiner. Steiner, of course. Steiner. Oh, that's yeah. so of course. sick. And he goes into yeah, his bit. Just... And I think this is where the promo was supposed to end. But then Scott said, I think I'm going to take this a little longer. He goes... <laughs> Scott I'm gonna rips the jacket want, off, dude. shows the the Superman S on it on his chest, and he goes, and this goes to all my freaks out there. Big Papa Pump is your hookup. Holler if you hear me. That was it. That was supposed to be it. Jeff Jarrett was that, in supposed yes. to get the mic and go. I'm the commissioner. Uh, we got this match here tonight. He goes, and Ric Flair. <laughs> <laughs> you old motherfucker. You old I think fuck, Ric Flair. I th- I think right before he starts talking, he asked somebody else, like, hey, do you want the mic? And they're like, no, I said what I want to say. And then he just goes, oh, Ric Flair. Bet. Yes. He, dude, he does holler. If you hear me, he looks around for a second. He decides to put his foot on the ropes. <laughs> Ric Flair, you old <laughs> fucking bitch. He's a 53-year-old man with loose skin. Still trying to say he's the man. Dude, this is, I say this line all the time. He, he goes, I watched a 53-year-old man come out here with more loose skin than a sharp pay puppy come out here and say he's still the man. I see Ric Flair. Number two, the nature boy. Scott Steiner <laughs> fucking cannot stand that he took the nature boy gimmick from Buddy he's Rogers. A big Buddy Rogers bar. Dude, remember what they're building to here, by the way. Ric Flair versus Terry Funk. Nothing Scott to do Steiner with the Scott Steiner is not NWO. involved in this angle <laughs> at all. It's Ric Flair, Terry Funk, I quit match the building to, and Steiner's just going off. Ric Flair had just gotten to the building as well. It must have sparked something in Scott. He was like, oh yeah, and another thing. <laughs> <laughs> this dude went into a whole tirade. He said, number two, the nature boy. And he'd been the butt in all the jokes because he's supposed to be the limo riding, jet flying son of a gun. But I'm saying one time, you should have taken a cab and used that money to fix your crooked yellow teeth. <laughs> your crooked yellow teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you got Freak and Kim and Freak Medasia in the background going, yeah, yeah. 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 This, and the crooked yellow teeth line is an all-timer, but this fucking Buddy Rogers rant that he goes on <laughs> oh is, my God. is so unbelievably Scott <laughs> Steiner. <laughs> Dude, he thought about into the promo about the crooked yellow teeth, then he put he his said, foot nah. back on he put the foot back on the roof and he said, Bump So that. I had to ask yeah. myself <laughs> And that's when you know oh. when Scott starts using phrases like that. So yeah. I had to ask myself. <laughs> now if, everybody knows. <laughs> now I know. It's like that's when you know. Yeah. Not, you're gonna get the, ten more minutes from spinning. Scott. <laughs> yeah, the wheels are spinning at this point. Oh, so does I, Ric Flair have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. Who oh. fucking knows? Scott he has like a snaggle tooth. He does. But you know who doesn't have crooky yellow teeth? Is Nature Buddy Boy. Richard. The original <laughs> Nature <Roger>. Boy. Oh, <laughs> so fun, he puts his foot back on the road and goes, so I had to ask myself, if WCW is going to hire the Nature Boy number two, why won't they hire the Nature Boy number one, Buddy Rogers? Buddy. And like, he says it, he says Nature Boy number one, and he says his name as if he's dropping a bombshell, like he's exposing Ric Flair. Why did they hire Nature Boy number one, Buddy Rogers? <laughs> it's like the Matt freaking Hardy line. That <laughs> Dude, this is the Matt freaking Hardy line. So he goes, Buddy Rogers. He takes a pause for a second, and the crowd's like, okay. And he goes, and now I know Buddy Rogers is dead. <laughs> God rest his soul. God. <laughs> but this so is your the, career. <laughs> that was an all-time line yeah. right there. That's the greatest Scott. burn of all time. Which, I know he's dead in real life, but your career's dead, motherfucker. He, he, <laughs> he took the time to continue this promo to question why WCW would not hire Buddy Rogers. And then it hits him that Buddy Rogers has been dead for a while. His, oh, his, his like a voice. deer in headlights. He's like, oh shit, he's actually dead. That's probably Dude. why they didn't hire him. His <laughs> tone his tone and voice goes completely yes. it's like it's like he had a, a fucking just 
at, he stopped I don't being, even know, I don't even know the word. He stopped being Scott Steiner for a minute and he had to get like serious. Scott Steiner. Yeah. yeah, he goes, if WCW's got an edge point number two, then he's got an edge point number one, Buddy Rogers. And no, now I know no. Buddy Rogers is dead. God rest <laughs> yeah. his soul. Buddy <laughs> Rogers. Buddy Rogers oh, died in 1992. <laughs> it is 2000. That's like the time Steiner realized the DNA ropes were red and the whole logo was red. And he was like, oh, shit, it is red. <laughs> it is red. <laughs> Uh, so um, he keeps going. It's not done yet. God rest his soul. Not this done. is no. good. He goes, nah, nobody rises is dead. God rest his soul. As he lays six feet under, he's still styling and profiling. Because when you use your little brain and stole his name, there was only one thing you couldn't steal. His class. <laughs> so when you walk down that aisle, I know I wasn't alone. Because I know all these people grabbed the remote and changed the channel to the WWF to watch Stone Cold, a person you and your old friends got fired from here because you're a jealous old bastard. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It's so How funny. How he good. switches from the... The concerned Buddy Rogers line right back in the dude. God rest his soul. You know. <laughs> when Scott Steiner says so, it's fucking over. Yeah. So, yeah. oh, that's it. You better that's watch out. Dude, you gotta back up. And he starts he said, the next line. So, Ric Flair. <laughs> Him and his old friends ran out because he's a jealous old bastard. And then, fuck, this is... <laughs> This Steiner knows that he has to stop soon, so he is just throwing out anything he can say at this point. Did he you says, watch the freaks in the back? Did you watch? No. Dude, they were like, the they were like trying to do the math of the butt sucking. They were in the back going, yeah, uh huh, yeah, yeah. Tell There's him, never tell been him. a bigger ass kissing butt sucking bastard in this no, business. You're saying, you're saying it's too straight. He, he goes, butt sucking bastards he like <laughs> didn't know what he was coming out sucking. next but in real life he said but also in life but in real life you're the biggest ass kissing but back back stabbing <laughs> butt sucking bastard and you belong where you're at in wcw because WCW sucks. It's so cute. So Dude, I love how Steiner ties a nice little bow on it at the end to cap off yes. the promo. WCW sucks and so do you. Oh, and I'm going to stay right here God. in the NWO for life. That's just like the cherry on top of the Sunday right there. NWO Ask for life. B- back, b- back, backstabbing, butt sucking bastard. In this Dude. business, but also in life. Also in life. Not just... For sh- not just on the record, <laughs> but also off the record. <laughs> that's that's for true. Holy <laughs> shit! That's what we're gonna do from now on. It's not off the record, on the record. It's in this business <laughs> and and in real life. <laughs> oh. Butt sucking. <laughs> Ass what? Kiss and butt where sucking. The, where the fuck does that come from? He, he wanted to say butt fucking, but he couldn't. Oh. He was looking for the words so hard here, man. He's yeah, like, I yeah, remember. He just I, wanted to say something that wouldn't get him in trouble. So butt sucking was what came out. Butt sucking. He kept it going too. He said, but also <laughs> in and out off the record. That's the great. This is the greatest yeah. of all time. Tulsa, whack. Yeah. <laughs> Ric Flair, whack. <laughs> Buddy Rogers. He's tight as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he daps up Buddy Rogers. He's dead. Eight years. The show could have ended here and I would have been happy. This was the whole show to me. I actually have no notes for anything else. This was just the show. Dude, the, the fucking show gets way ridiculous. This is crazy, yeah, though, because right. I remember back in the day, like, was it NoDQ.com or something? NoDQ.com. This, they, uploaded, they uploaded this video on there, and I yeah. watched it like a million times back in the day when you had to download those videos. Butt sucking <sighs> bastard. There's and no you think... The fans are cheering him now, so they're getting on the side, but Jarrett's yeah, got to turn Rick it back. Flair. Well, Ric Flair's got to turn it around. Too, at this time. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah I mean, I guess. Kind of, yeah. They were blurring the lines. Russo said, these are his right. characters. He's swerving them. Yeah. He's, he's Ric Flair. Everybody loves Ric Flair. And then Jarrett somehow has to follow this up. <laughs> said, all right, guys. So, yeah. All right. Let me, uh, let me take I, over. I, I wrote down in my notes, I said, I have to segment this because I did not expect anyone to talk after Steiner, but Jarek did. <laughs> Jarek grabs the mic and goes, it looks like we're back in slap nuts country. <laughs> How are you supposed to, what? No, yeah. we're in fucking Buddy Rogers country now. <laughs> <laughs> we're an ass kicking, butt sucking <laughs> bastard, butt back. Back stabbing, <laughs> butt sucking bastard. <laughs> That's the country we're in now. Oh uh, Jared announces that uh, Mark Johnson is going to be the referee for the Super Brawl match against Sid. Yes, yeah, uh, an NWO paid off referee. Yeah, was he like the the way uh, what's his he name? He was kind of like the Nick ref Patrick. back in the. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
Uh, he also announces that the match at Super Brawl will also be no disqualification. Okay. Uh, Jarrett then also announces Scott Hall versus Sid Vicious in the main event. Which I, I right after Jeff Jarrett announces that Sid, uh, Scott starts fake limping <laughs> to try to get out of it. Very it's Kevin Nash. So, and then he, then he does this thing where he like puts his hand up like how big Sid is. He's like, this dude's huge. I'm not gonna fight him. I, the pantomiming is tremendous. Yeah, he goes so up good. to him limping, and Jared goes, "Oh no, you're clear tonight, brother." <laughs> <laughs> so, so he goes, oh, we're going to have that tonight. And Scott, Scott starts limping even more, and he looks over at Jared, and Jared goes, oh, no, 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 you're cleared. <laughs> Very uh, WWE doctor-esque. <laughs> yeah, this was good stuff here. Throw him a Z-pack, get your ass out there. we got to work Jeff tonight, says, kid. and tonight this outsider's going to be all up in your ass, Sid. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. All right. He is going to fuck you tonight. <laughs> Cool. We cut uh, backstage. Booker is walking backstage. He's uh, talking about Jay Biggs taking all his stuff. Uh, yeah. They took my colors. They took my music, but they're never going to take my dignity. They're going to take that, too. Yeah, they are. So David, definitely takes that. Yeah. <laughs> David plays backstage with Crowbar and Daphne, uh, and David is talking to, I think Mean Gene was back there, and he says, Ooh, Mean. Uh, yeah. I'm going to fight one of my dad's fights tonight. Mean Gene's like, ooh, I don't know, man. You should probably shouldn't do that. I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> all the while... <laughs> All the while, Crowbar and Daphne are having a thumb wrestling match behind them. <laughs> They're always just having fun. David Flair is just... Dude, Crowbar's on this show like a million times. What does Crowbar do anymore? He's over. He's, like, he's here all the time. I wish Daphne yeah. was on the show more. Yeah, me too, dude. Good Lord. She was awesome. God bless. God bless. Uh, so we get Booker, not Booker T, Booker no. versus With The Wall. <laughs> <laughs> the wall brother it's the wall and brother <laughs> Booker comes out with midnight uh, but he does not have his typical music he has some I don't even know how to describe Tiny it. Tim it's Tiny Tim Tiny Tim music <laughs> I literally thought it was gonna be Tim Tim it's uh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I forget what the, the name of the song is like woodchuck game or something like woodchuck, that woodchuck yeah something like that yeah uh, which so they give him goofy music he comes out He's like, all right, you know what? I, I don't have my music, but I can still do my pyro. So he sets up to do the pyro. He does the jump. No pyro. He looks behind. What the fuck? <laughs> the took Jay Biggs pyro. took his pyro. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's, that was great. That's so good. That's so yeah. good. A lawyer stole the pyro too and everything. He stole everything, but not his There's dignity. There's another ICP sign in the crowd here uh, that says, they all fear ICP. Yeah, they're, dude, they're walking around the arena with ICP signs, literally walking whoop, whoop. in between the sections. Yeah, like, it's whatever. crazy. Mad motherfucking Wicked Glam Love. That's all I know. Oh, yeah. So uh, I was looking up this uh, this theme song to try and find it. I saw the thing with Booker T talking on his, his little podcast, and I didn't realize that. <laughs> his little uh, podcast? <laughs> Little baby, yeah, podcast. You know, little baby little baby podcast. Little, little, little podcast. Little podcast. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, the boy. song says yes, 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 no, 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 and Booker T's original song. I didn't realize that. So yeah. it's like, yes, 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 no, no, no. What'd but you Booker think actually said? looks at his hand and what? shakes his head up and down for yes, 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 and to the right for no, no, no. And I never knew that. That's why I he didn't know that part. Is that right? That's what, that yeah, makes that's why he does the five-time thing, and he goes, yes, oh, yes, yes, no, no, no. Oh, so, wow. I thought he was, I was just like, shaking his head. So I'm trying to figure out, what is the woodchuck thing? And then you start talking about that, and I'm like, oh, that's crazy. Oh, you found out the Little Baby Booker podcast? The little, <laughs> you know, like, go to littlebabybooker.tv, and you can watch it live. <laughs> Little podcast, I don't know. Podcast. Not the Booker T podcast because the T is like a little bit. Booker podcast. Just the, oh, just the Booker podcast. Yeah, <laughs> the Booker podcast. The um, Booker man, y'all. So Booker versus the Wall. Booker will face Big T at Super Brawl for the rights to be in Harlem Heat again. <laughs> <laughs> why the fuck would he even want to at this point? Why would, yeah. Why would you want to be if nobody wants you around? Why would he you just want wants his dignity back? That's his team. Booker goes out of his way. To lose this match. <laughs> <laughs> it's he, the wall, brother. The wall. He whoops the wall's ass. <laughs> and he hits him with all of his moves. He does the scissor kick. He does the spin rooney. He does the bookend. And he goes to the top. After doing the bookend, he could have pinned him. I guess he's going for the uh, Har the Harlem hangover. Houston hangover. What's he call it? Uh, uh, Harlem in uh, WCW Houston. Houston and WWE. That's true. Right. Yeah. So, so, so he's going for that. And then Jay Biggs comes out with security and interrupting him. And he, he just gets distracted. Gets crotched, choke slammed, and pinned. Arrest this man. <laughs> Booker, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Arrest this man. Yeah. Attempted murder. Jay Biggs. You're talk about how crazy Jay Biggs looks at this point? Jay Biggs has many injuries. <laughs> he has a full body cast on. <laughs> like, full <laughs> brace. His Jay jacket's Biggs. on one arm. He's got that suit jacket on one arm as he's walking yeah, around. It's just hanging off. Time. Yeah. It's so crazy. He is out here to have Booker T arrested for assault and battery. Culpable negligence, reckless endangerment, and attempted murder! 
<laughs> Take him out. He's a hardened criminal. Don't be gentle with him. He's a killer. Yeah, he's they're a just criminal. holding him. They're holding his arms, walking him out. He's like, don't be fucking nice to this guy. <laughs> he's a criminal. <laughs> Take the oh. criminal out of here. <laughs> Jay Biggs was great. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, he was really good. Who he, is, he was, who, was he in WWF? Is that like, or was he just a WCW guy? I have Honestly, no idea who sure. Jay Biggs is. I don't know what happened after this. Is, yeah, this is pretty I much all it, I know. I, I thought it was oh, is it Clarence, Clarence Mason, Mason, but I wasn't sure. Oh, is it yeah, Clarence Mason? See, I thought it was, yeah, it but is. I wasn't it's sure. It's Clarence Mason. That's yeah, my yeah. fucking guy, Nation. That's my fucking guy. Oh, who's the, yeah, he was in WF or WCW, huh? Yeah. Okay. Which makes a lot of sense for 2000, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they even got Jay Biggs in here. <laughs> Attempted murder! <laughs> So we're back to the NWO backstage. Brian Knobs. Small locker room. Brian Nas breaks into the office, uh, and everyone else goes, oh my god, it's like, shit in here. <laughs> <laughs> Nas breaks into the office, he goes, what, you think you're swerving me? I'm like, oh, oh brother. 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 Yeah, I, I wrote down my notes, get this fucking guy out of here, man. <laughs> so, uh, Jarrett makes Brian Nobbs versus, I thought he was making Brian Nobbs versus Finley, but he makes Brian Nobbs versus That's Bam Bam Bigelow. No, so, so he's playing mind games with him, right? So he, he Nobbs wants he Finley, He thought he was right, fighting but, Finley? Right, so Nobs wants Finley. Thought... He's like, no, he goes, okay, I'll give you Finley, and then he walks. He goes, yeah, you'll be in the ring with Finley, uh, but Finley will be reffing because they're trying uh, to get Finley versus Nobs. You Nob, were so... able to hear them talking. I had no idea that happened. <laughs> you I was trying to figure out the story. <laughs> but yes, I had to listen seventy to Nob. decibels. So he, but he want, so he wants to fight Finley. But so him apparently and Finley he tricked come out him together. the week before. He 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 tricked him the week before and was like, yeah, you'll get Finley, but Finley reffed, and so then he did the same mm. thing this week where he's like, oh no, but Finley's why did gonna Finley ref. come out with him? Finley was screwing him over because Finley, I don't know. Well, we need to talk about what Finley did in this match later, which is just absolutely <laughs> fucked. But uh, Brian Knobs also has a broken fucking arm, and he goes, I'm yes. wrestling anyway. So they said, whatever. <laughs> yeah. We really don't He's, care. Jared says, you're cleared. <laughs> yeah, you're cleared. No, 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 you're we clear. got a 50-second match later. Make it make it go. Jared asks if Knobs wants to fight tonight. Knobs with a broken arm says yes, and Scott all says, beat it, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I will. Bye. <laughs> Uh, so we have Terry Funk backstage with Arn Anderson. Arn is asking if Terry is going to go through with the David Flair I Quit match tonight because he just wants Ric Flair in the I Quit match. But if you David close Stephanie. your eyes, this was one guy talking to himself. <laughs> yeah, Ar yeah, Arn, you can barely hear Arn at all. <laughs> I hate Arn's WCW promos. They're so yeah. I'm gonna wait to see what Terry does out there. And uh, well, this is like the complete opposite of the water bottle gimmick where they they mic'd him up too much. And yeah, you this is the not water mic'd enough. Is not mic'd yeah. at all. I think it's so just an onboard microphone. This Funk and Flair thing, Arn is in between it. So Funk has been wanting him to to pick a side. You know, cross the line, pick a side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he says, I don't know where they stand. They say, uh, and Funk says, You told me you would tell me where you stand. You told me tonight. <laughs> you told me tonight. <laughs> you told me you He's said you were gonna tell me tonight. Arn's gone for five minutes. He's still screaming. <laughs> Turns out Arn actually told him where he stands. He just couldn't hear him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh you did. <laughs> Um, so we're backstage again after that. Uh, Lenny Lane and Lodi are backstage, uh, and they want to face the Mama Lukes, who are the tag also, team champions. They also want to fuck rats. <laughs> fuck rats also, and be on thunder. Also, for some reason, they dump Miss Hancock. Why the fuck they would do that? I don't yeah, understand move. that. What a dumbass <laughs> hey. thing. Sorry. Hey, bro. <laughs> they dump Hancock to go chase <laughs> ring rats. That's what they did. Cool. Hey, man. Cool. Cool, they guys. They couldn't yeah. handle the, the Hancock. Yeah, Hancock was too much. Uh, they have a Tank Abbott match against the Barbarian. I This is huh. a shoot fight rules match. So this uh, is building to a classic match. This is building to Tank Abbott versus Big Al. Big Al, former bodyguard. Now, do you remember what happens between Tank Abbott and Big Al? Nah, tell us. Big Al and Tank Abbott have a match. I think it's at, I think it's at Super Brawl. It um, is, it is. They do wrestle sense. Super Bowl, yes. Yeah, it is a, I believe it's a shoot fight as well. Oh, no, sorry, it's a. It's, it's leather jacket on a pole, actually. <laughs> That's the match. Okay. <laughs> because they're they're fighting course. over a leather jacket. Um, And at the end of the match, uh, there's, a, you know, having a smudge on the outside, and Tank Abbott uh, pulls a knife for shoot. <laughs> oh, my God, I remember this. On Big Al and puts it to his neck, and they have to quickly cut away. <laughs> what the hell? Yes, I don't. They just were, yeah, that's just how Tank Abbott was. Did I don't Tank know why. get fired after this, or did he stay around, and they just um, went on with it, or what? No, this is before three count. He's definitely with three count oh, at some shit, point. Oh, shit, it so. was. Yeah. Here's, uh, here's oh, the picture. I'll God. send it in the chat for you. Big Al? 
<laughs> check the chat. <laughs> Die, that, motherfucker. Yeah, that is, he has him goozled. Big Al's laying on the floor, and he has a knife at his neck. Uh, I don't know why that happened, but yeah. So, he, and oh, he, I believe the quote was, uh, he puts a knife to his neck, and he said, I could fucking kill you. <laughs> And then the camera pans away. <laughs> and Tony Schiavone what? tried to say it was it was scissors that he was trying to cut his he could cut his beard with. But no. Tank Abbott wanted to slice his fucking throat. <laughs> He's gonna kill Big Al. He was going to kill Big Al on the show. Big, oh my Big Al is in the So Big Al is in the crowd for this shoot fight rules match because yes. he don't like that Tank Abbott is a wrestler. He don't like that he's doing a wrestling thing. So they have a wrestling match at the pay-per-view. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on a pole. Leather jacket well, on the pole. Leather jacket on a pole match. Wow, Tank Abbott just had a shoot fight rules match here. Instead of having yeah. a shoot fight rules match at the pay-per-view, they have a leather <laughs> jacket on the pole. Match. That's of course. So Barbarian jumps Tank Abbott to start this match. Uh before Tank even gets in the ring. Tank's fighting back. Uh and then like at one point, like the ref like falls in between them, like trying to break them up or something. But oh, he falls it's so between them. funny. He caught himself though. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know if that You're was like, on the ref. Can, yeah. I actually think this was planned, to be honest. That's what I, because... But why? Because he does like, because okay, so like he to distract like, crawls how on his bad knees. the yeah, fake punch from Tank Abbott well, was. He, he crawls on his knees, so then you know it's like a distraction. You can just hit that punch through. I don't know. I this was guess. just the way it was booked. But it's it was so strange. weird. It was Actually, yeah. I, I, from what I heard backstage, like thirty <laughs> minutes before they came out. Tank Abbott mm -hmm. said, you better do that or I'm going to cut your fucking throat. <laughs> you know what? He, he went up to Barbarian and said, you know I could fucking kill you. <laughs> and then they said he was going to cut Barbarian's beard off with scissors or something. It was real weird. He said, I'm going to wear this leather jacket tonight or you're going to fucking die. That's on and you. Pick the, one. It's weird. I, that same promo in the back you could hear, Ric Flair! <laughs> the Steiner was preparing for his promo. <laughs> no, Steiner's just talking to himself back saying, that fucking bitch, Ric Flair. But yeah, Tank That's Abbott awesome. wins via KO. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Big Al is in the crowd, and then that's where it leads to that. And he almost dies. D -d -d that's what you get, buddy. Oh, wow. Uh, Crowbar is backstage. He walks up to the demon's casket. This is where the demon comes out of. Um, yes. He knocks on it to make sure that no one's in there, and then he starts air guitaring <laughs> on the outside. Uh, yeah. Daphne then screams really loud in the back, and then he runs away. Why? Cool. Uh, dude, I don't know. I thought, right. like... I thought maybe she was uh, like they're That's gonna go and she got hurt or something or like someone maybe she got uh, her kidnapped or... by Kiss and Gene no. Simmons was giving her the tongue. No, they said like they tongue. said that Daphne caught Crowbar goofing off and that's why right, she screamed. But, um, I see. That's what no, she does. Just, that's not. I just what walk happened. up to him and say, "Let's go." <laughs> that's not that's, what No, that's yeah. what she on, does. No. She just screams. That's what her WWE thing was screaming. Oh, I know right, that. She but she wasn't queen, on but... screen. She wasn't on screen. Uh, she like if I, I just watched this, I would have no idea what was going yeah, on. Yeah, nothing's happening. <laughs> um, that could so... go for this whole episode, John. That's <laughs> fucking true. You're right. So this very Speaking great, of... <laughs> greatly named segment here, uh, the kid cam, <laughs> kid, kid cam, the which kid is cam, of uh, course, Billy Kidman. Uh, yeah, old Billy Goldman. man. This is not a good name for a camera. Kid Cam. You don't, think Tori, you don't think filming Tori Wilson with the kid cam is good? <laughs> That's basically about to turn into a porno, and it's the called Kid Cam's kid filming cam. naked women, he said. <laughs> I, ain't turn, I ain't turning this shit off for nothing if it's women. <laughs> Tori <laughs> says, please turn off the kid camera. <laughs> No, he says no. Well, no. This is very bad. Do not call this the kid cam. Please. The kid camera was filming You're naked women go to jail. in the WCW <laughs> locker room. WCW had a kid camera filming naked women. Just let that set in. Billy the Ooh. Child had a kid camera. <laughs> they were a kid was filming naked women. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. So moving on to another great segment. Oh, o God. It o only gets better. Oklahoma. <laughs> Dude, they could have me do this. <laughs> you actually sound more like, more like JR, JR than Oklahoma. Well, Jake, you know what? I appreciate that, James. <laughs> um, so Oklahoma is supposed to be a Jim Ross parody for anyone that doesn't know. He even has OK in the WWF Scratch logo on his. I like that. Actually, OK thing is kind of sure, funny. Yeah. I think that's good. Me. So Jeff Jarrett has made Oklahoma the general manager of the WCW women's division. A new division that I will spearhead. I love that uh, but I they hate women. just tried to erase the entirety of the history of the division they already had. He's like, this is a brand new division we never yeah. had on this show before. <laughs> never before. Never again. <laughs> I would like to remind everyone 
that at this point, Eric Bischoff is not here anymore. He was let go in 99. Yes. Eric Bischoff spearheaded probably one of the best women divisions of all time when he was there. And yeah, then right. 2000 hit, and this is what they did. See ya. Yeah, they had Akira Hokuto as the women's world champion at that point. They were working with Gaia Japan. They were doing a lot of really innovative shit. Do you have any of the Oklahoma quotes written down? I have some stuff that he said here. I can I can try okay, to hit here. Please uh, let the people know what Oklahoma said. So Oklahoma, he said, I, I was born to spearhead this division. You're looking at the GM of WCW Women's Division. We all know women have... No place in wrestling. That's what he follows it up with. <laughs> That's a great way to start a women's division. <laughs> women have no, they have no place, place in wrestling. wrestling. And yeah. I want to make it easy for these women. I'm going to look out for them. Uh, I'm going to give them rigorous medical examinations, which I will be personally pre uh, oh, present for each before and every that, Before that, he says, bless their little hearts for trying. I'm like, <laughs> bless oh Bless their little God. hearts, yeah. Like, they're adorable. That's what he says too, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then a doctor comes out. Dr. Haywood Jeter, a world-renowned... A uh, cosmetic surgeon who comes out here, and you know he's a doctor because he has a st stethoscope. On because he's a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes out and he says, "Medusa has ligma." <laughs> That's awesome. Oklahoma says, "What is ligma?" <laughs> <laughs> you Joe Mama. <laughs> ligma, no, not. Um, the doctor has a big red, white, and blue tie and a stethoscope. Uh, yes. Oklahoma asks him if he's worked on Medusa, and the doctor says yes. He says, "Well, have you done Medusa's nose?" No, hold on, hold on a second. He says, yes. "He says, uh, can you tell me what's been done to Medusa?" And he says, "I can't say." And then they go, "Oh, <laughs> oh doc, yeah, yeah, doctor, patient, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. HIPAA, yeah." And then he HIPAA. he he says, "I can't say," and then he proceeds to say everything. He says everything. <laughs> <laughs> He does not stop saying things, actually. Yeah, says, have, you, have you done Medusa's nose? Yes, actually. Uh, have you done her eyes? With eyes? It's a cosmetic surgeon. <laughs> God, what you done her toes? <laughs> have you done her lips? Did you augment Medusa's chest? You do any? And he says yes to all these. Did you do anything else? And Tiger says, well, yeah. And he says, well, what else did you do? Did you work on Medusa's ass? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Medusa has no place in this division. As Aretha Franklin once said, you make me feel like a natural woman, and there's nothing natural about this woman. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Johnny. You're giving this segment too much credit. That's it what is he not says. that good. No, no, no. But the way you're oh, saying it is yeah. not how he talks. <laughs> He did not have as much heart in what he said. You are, as yeah, I you do. put this over weight. You sh actually should have been Oklahoma. <laughs> I mean, if I said that Aretha Franklin, I wouldn't been good. So uh, sorry, you were fat at Ferrara in two thousand. Medusa comes out, bounce into the ring. <laughs> oh my god, bro! <laughs> all, all due respect, fuck. I don't know. Uh, things were thanging respectfully. Yeah, my like god, I don't even dude. know how Listen. she thought she was going to be able to wrestle after that. Like, like they were seriously. They were. Half her Crazy. body weight. Wait, yeah. Listen, I'm. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank cool. you, Doc. If well, she was Doctor Haywood Jeter, thank you so much, my man. <laughs> well, did she? I think she was pretty much done at that point. She was just kind of doing the monster truck. Thing. We got you. Got to help my division. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She's that spearhead in the new division. She she comes out. Uh, she slaps the doctor, and then she's wearing these high ass heels and kicks both of them, and it looks good too. <laughs> These awesome kicks she hits, yeah, and then yeah. she breaks the clipboard over the doctor's head, and then that she starts good. performing cock and ball torture on the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote down that this is absolutely a Russo fetish segment. There's no just other stepping, way. Stepping on his cock and balls in her high heels. <laughs> and she's, she's talking to him. She's like, yeah, you like that? You like that, doc? <laughs> Like this is a Russo yeah. fetish. And they zoom in too. They like zoom in on yeah. a boot as his cock and ball to Look at his cock. Look, look at the dot. <laughs> <laughs> look at the balls. Look at the cock. Look at the cock. Look at the cock. La 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 la. You can tell Russo yeah. was like, get in tight. Get in tight. Get, get in, in tight. On the shot. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, please. Zoom in on the cock and ball torture, please. Yo, bro, you got to zoom in on that. That's the money shot right there, brother. That's the money shot. Yeah, so that was that was the beginning of the at least that was the, okay the beginning of the women's division. Never had one. At before. least Never he talks a bunch of shit, and the Medusa comes out and stomps on his balls. So, I mean, well, it'd be I nice guess if, he like, looks. Yeah, but like the division actually like do they even have a title? <laughs> I don't think they, they ever have a did, title. They did have a title for a million years ago, right before this. Like did <laughs> or like you know six years. years. Yeah, did yeah, Medusa yeah. just win a the hardcore title six. at one point or something? I she does. Like that's yeah. where she beats Oklahoma went. for it. <laughs> Fuck! That's the division. Did you That's the women's division. Ass? 
But oh Deuce are beating god. Oklahoma for the hardcore championship. The Aretha WCW Franklin, women's please. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he was so blown away. But he he said couldn't he believe you. Did you ass? augment Medusa's ass? Yes. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Tony's right. This segment really was not good. It was horrible. But, <laughs> it but really at, least say, at least she kicks him in the balls and he stomps on him. Sure, and, you know, of gets course. Gets a little retribution for them talking about. Uh, you. They, <laughs> they came out and said we're starting a women's division. They have no place in this business ever. Bless their hearts for trying, though. Fuck, oh, that's God. so fun. <laughs> Did you argue? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Insert the side of a Jim Ross on fire. <laughs> Stone Stone Cold staring at him. <laughs> Not helping. I go like, what? What? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the segment really sucked. I promise it sucked. <laughs> oh, also, fuck, I forgot to mention this. As they're burying all women and they can't wrestle and they suck, they should never be in this business. They pan to women in the crowd and show them. So that's really good as well. Who also don't care. It's pan, yeah. yeah, pans to a woman in the crowd. She's like, woo! <laughs> Women are <laughs> dumb sluts. I yeah, let's go. We suck. Yeah, you go. Did you all maybe do his ass in it? <laughs> over to the crowd. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, augment her ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 2000 was a different era. Boom, boom. I, I feel like we need to create a Mecha Medusa character. Yeah, yeah, augment awesome. Medusa's ass. <laughs> we can recreate it. <laughs> <laughs> we have Faster, the technology. Stronger. <laughs> Cheekier. Woo! Augment ass. Oh, anyways, Ric Flair, you old bitch. <laughs> they, they show Flair and his hoochies watching the TV backstage. Uh, cool. Ric They're Flair walks. TV. Dude, he walks, just walking, and he sees a CRTV and goes, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at TV to watch Nitro, it's him and it's on the him TV. on TV. <laughs> He and then he walks TV. off frame, and they stay on the TV, and it's just like a loop of all these same TVs. <laughs> It's like, hell yeah, yeah, let's see what's going on in this TV. It's just him standing there. What is he stops. Standing in the that is the man. <laughs> Holy oh. shit. They should have uh -oh. shown Steiner, you old bastard. <laughs> Steiner should have popped up behind the TV. <laughs> uh, all right, so Mean Gene's backstage with Terry Taylor. Uh, or he's yes. backstage, he says Terry Taylor's got some news coming up. They come back from the commercial. They the get executive to board has been a closed door session for a couple hours. Terry Taylor has some big news after this, and then they come back. We're back. <laughs> You're back. Terry Funk and Dave Flair walking in the ring. That matches next. But first, uh, Terry Taylor says, the board can't change the people in matches. Okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, okay. But they can change the stipulations. So... They take away Mark Johnson. Mark Johnson's not here no more. Bam, and non then he says, we are also going to make it a world title match. For the match tonight, right? Scott Hall versus yes. Sid Vicious tonight. A world title match. And you know what I wrote down after that? <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question so mark. So eventually they try to explain it as, oh, well, they're trying to fuck with the NWO because Hall wants to win the title. So that's why they're doing that. Even though Hall is horrified of Sid Vicious. <laughs> Currently, so. Sid Vicious is on the WCW side of things. Yes. And he's the champion. Yes. This so they is want him what to lose they the want. The title. <laughs> yeah. So Terry lose the Taylor title. goes, we're going to make it a world title match, and we hope that the NWO wins the world title. <laughs> Because we have no faith in Sid, we might as well get this title off of him now, so NWO has to fight at the pay-per-view. That's what they're saying. So we would like our pay-per-view, Super Brawl, to be headlined by the NWO, all of them. None of yes. our people, all the NWO. Yes. What is going on? <laughs> Terry Taylor, Red Rooster, <laughs> stupid cock. <laughs> uh, so anyways, we get to Terry Funk versus David Flair. Yes. This is an Which, I quit match. This... I loved. I thought I was like, damn, this is gonna be whatever. David Flair, <laughs> you know <laughs> who it is. <laughs> he didn't come out to that though. I really liked this whole thing here. 
Uh, yeah, he didn't come out to nanny nanny. He came out to nanny 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 I don't want to waste my time. I like my dad. Okay, shit. I want to talk about David Flair again. Okay. You know, looking nanny, back nanny, at nanny. this, like I kind of hated it at first, but looking back at it, this is like the fucking greatest character of all time. David Flair yes. fucking rules. Like your dad does not give a fuck about you. You have a ton of and, money, and you just and go everyone, nuts because you're you're living yeah. in the shadow of your dad, who's like a fucking superstar. But he doesn't cool give a shit dad. about he you. He doesn't even want to be there. He he's feel he's forced to be Ric Flair Jr. because he's Ric Flair's son. He just wants and to be David just, Flair. He's hanging out with a bunch of cronies. He's like a high school fucking outcast. It's like He's your parents have drugs. a shit ton of money. So you yeah. just like go hang out with the bad kids because you're like, fuck my yeah, rich parents he, and my lifestyle. Yes. This fucking rules. It's actually really good. I like it. It is. It is cool. I mean, he's, he's hanging out with Crowbar and Daphne right now. Dude, yeah, he is right. Yeah. These guys are yeah. a vlog. I mean, he's, he's, like, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Raven's gone. They said, all right, David, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> you're cracking. He's like, yeah. They, uh, they show a recap, a video of all the Ric Flair versus Terry Funk matches to hype up the match that Terry Funk's having with his shitty son. <laughs> yeah. It will be nothing not like be, this. Yeah, I was like, it's not going to be anything like this. Don't worry about this. Dude, that, I quit match, don't worry about it. that one yeah. I quit match, Terry Funk, Ric Flair, that still rules to this day. I think it was at like one of the clashes. Yeah, clash. Dude, that yeah. still well, holds they, up to this day. It's fucking The one that awesome. they reference, the, the one Flair Funk thing that will always stand out to me, I'm sure most people do when they think of these two is and they reference it in this match too because funk goes to do the same spot to mm -hmm. david is the fucking pile driver onto the announce table uh, yeah. oh yeah that's neck, so breaks flair's neck it's like fuck all that's all timer that's just unforgettable yeah. that shit um on january 31st funk put flair in a spinning toe hold uh and then flair they just keep beating each other up that whole episode it sucks like <laughs> they just kept going at each other like i think funk was in match flair comes out and beats him up they're just fighting and funk uh gets on the mic he said david you understand what you're getting into is i quit match do you realize that i'm gonna give you one chance right now to say i quit before this goes any further and david says i'll go to hell before i'm quitting oh hell yeah yeah dude this is my so fucking guy david flair <laughs> rules david flair nee, 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 put, some nee, nee, nee. put some respect on david flair hive i tell you what this match is just flair or funk trying his best to not have david flair die here but yeah. eventually he has to kill him because his dad won't come out here uh and david flair is just getting away he he's trying to make an example he set an example where he's like, listen i don't want to fucking kill your kid here that's but so I will. good this this is like it's really yeah. honestly this is the best great. stuff on the show like this is yeah, really like, good story-wise this is awesome rick flair is still being rick flair he doesn't want to be a dad he doesn't give a fuck about david he doesn't give a fuck about funk or any of his friends or arn anderson arn anderson can't even get in touch with him Dude, flair's doing his own thing he's got the flair hooch. shows up to the arena to fuck bitches and then leave the arena <laughs> he does nothing <laughs> rick flair worked himself into a shoot that's pretty much that's pretty that's much true. the gimmick that's the angle yeah yeah <laughs> rick flair is He's, he's, you know, the, the lines then, have been blurred. And, he won't and, <laughs> and Scott Steiner told him like it was, baby. Yeah, he told him like it was. Yeah, was all the right. boys are joking on you. <laughs> Dude, if we had the original Nature Boy R.I.P., it would be better. <laughs> so I had to ask myself, if WCW... <laughs> Augmented Medusa's ass. <laughs> Why don't I have a real ass, got the real Medusa ass. <laughs> so I had to ask myself... <laughs> Uh, Terry Funk cuts a, a promo here. He goes, Ric Flair. Used old bastard. <laughs> I know you're a 14 time champion, but that means you lost 14 times. You old, old fucking Ric Flair, you old bitch. Which, that is that is true. That is how that, that is math. That is good. Yeah. Dude, That's good. David so, Flair yeah. fucking like hard fucking the chair shots that he David is, Flair so yeah, just fucking fun. wallops him in the he fucking He says you lost head, the like, title 14 times now I'm gonna whoop your ass 14 times now come on out here and face me and he turns <laughs> around and awesome. da David Flair hits him in the head with a chair and he's trying to get Funk to quit Funk is obviously not gonna quit he's taking much he worse but this is like Six or seven just chair shots to the Unprotected head. Unprotected chair shots. The chair to the head. is bending <laughs> each time, just bonking him in the head. He's saying, "Do you quit? Quit!" You quit? And he is not no, quitting. Not. He is. <laughs> he's not <laughs> quitting at all. David sets up a table. Uh, he's trying to like pull up the padding on the floor. Uh, but the, it gets stuck under the stairs. <laughs> Which <laughs> oh, Funk does that. He tries to like pull up the padding on the concrete and yeah. just doesn't go anywhere. Then he pile drives him onto the padding, which I was like, oh, that sucks. But then he's like, he gets back. Funk gets back on the mic and he says, "Come on down, you bitch, Ric Flair." <laughs> <laughs> and he goes to David, "Do you quit, you little bastard?" 
And David does not quit. He says, I'll go to hell. <laughs> so then Terry Funk got the mic and he goes, so I had to ask myself. <laughs> Funk then pile drives David onto the exposed floor. Oh, yeah. And it's stop. a shoe pile driver for it sure. Because awesome. there's a little wet spot on the ground after he yeah. Yeah. Sure. From, yeah. Shit him coming. And then uh, the camera cuts to the entranceway to show Ric Flair not coming out still. He is not coming out to help his son, which leads to Funk just fucking pile driving <laughs> David Flair through a table. Oh, Fuck! God. This table is obliterated. He they, puts put, to, they put over that spot so well, too. Yeah, they said he, bro he broke his dad's neck and Funk's on the mic trying to get him to come out. He pile drives him through. It's uh, He's dead. Yeah. Uh, Funk then continues to, on the mic, he says, I'm going to break this kid's neck. I'm going to break his neck. I'm going to set up another table. I'm going to break his neck. He puts David Flair on the table. I'm like, fuck are you doing hits him with a chair and he gets on the mic he starts climbing the ropes <laughs> in the middle of the ropes i'm like oh my god terry funk is about to acai moonsault <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> through this fucking table and he's like you got five seconds or i'm coming off on him and tony shawani says coming off on him <laughs> he does he does i'm gonna come on david flair if you don't come out here in five seconds <laughs> and he said he counts to five and funk contemplates doing the acai moonsault Probably would end up horribly. Yes. He says, you filthy bastard, Flair. You say I live on a chicken ranch. I don't have any goddamn chickens like you. <laughs> That's such a good line. I don't need to beat on this kid anymore, Flair. I'll quit tonight, but I sure ain't quitting when I get you out here in the same kind of match. And then Funk quits. He does not want to whoop Ric Flair's son's ass anymore. He knows nothing he does to this kid is going to bring Ric Flair out and give him the fight that he wants. He's not going to do it. He says, fuck it. I'm not going to hurt this kid anymore. He quits. Uh, and then he... <laughs> and then... <laughs> then he got to Scott Steiner promo. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to ask myself. So I, so I had to ask myself. <laughs> Where, you banana nose, big eyed, lying, cheating, evil, banana nose, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Banana nose. <laughs> you could have convinced me that was a soundboard. <laughs> no, that was for shoot. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what the f banana nose? <laughs> Lying, cheating, evil. <laughs> I love the captions for this on the network. It was like, "You banana nose, pig eye, lamb." <laughs> <laughs> uh, so all in all, Ric Flair, horrible dad. He wanted David to die. What a great angle, man. Fucking Jesus awesome. Christ. Fucking yeah. and Ar Arn's promo later makes it even better. Funk Funk like flipping into promo mode after like the five second part yeah. was crazy. Like the it look in his eye was yeah. just so he looked good. like he was actually gonna cry. He's like, Man, I don't need to beat up a kid anymore. Like, what am I doing? Which like, is crazy. Like in between this. all of this stuff, like this is awesome. This is real compelling. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. You banana nose bastard. <laughs> Evil. How, how did Flair agree to any of this? Like he got buried, he got buried, and then he got buried again, and then fuck, probably he didn't. Like, he probably didn't just tell him this happened. He didn't you even think know he this agreed was to this promo too. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Uh, Maybe he so, just trust Funk, and he's like, "All right, I, yeah, yeah, I definitely think that's probably it." Honestly, yeah. I know, but how big of a bitch do you look? You don't come out. You just let your son Lord get lines, beat up. brother. You don't hey, bro, care. You well, I also think Russo did not like Ric Flair, so anything he could do to make Russo, uh, Flair look like a bitch, I'm sure he was. You did anybody sell, like Ric? I feel like no, no. Like I don't think Bischoff liked Flair either. I don't think anyone really liked Flair. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H loves Ric Flair. Yeah. Oh yeah, besides Triple H, yeah. And Ric Flair loves Ric Flair as well. WCW hated Ric Flair. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mike today is backstage watching this segment on a CRT TV. Arn comes up and says, "You got one of them camera crews?" He goes, "Yes, I do, sir." And then Arn says, all right, well, we're going to talk. Mike Denise says, the tapes are rolling, actually. <laughs> we actually have a crew right here that's filming this as I'm standing here watching this. Can you just talk right now? <laughs> uh, so Arn Anderson cuts a promo with Mike Tanay when they come back from commercial. Arn said last week, uh, he said, people like Funk and Flair, he said, uh, they make me proud to be a wrestler. Uh, well, I don't feel that way anymore. Ooh. Uh, Funk didn't have to do that, and Flair didn't need to take a beating like that. Uh, Rick Flair should have come out to help his son. 
He Instead, said, he's backstage yeah. with these three broads. <laughs> these broads are dancing around. He said, I almost agree with Scott Steiner right now, and that makes me want to puke. <laughs> That's <laughs> such a... Dude, what a this fucking is Barry Rick Flair night. Fuck, it rules. I love this. Yeah, he said, somewhere in the building, there's three broads you're dancing around with, or you're trying to be Ric Flair, well, and you should uh, be trying to be that kid's father. Ooh, fuck, what a line. Fucking a good Jesus. angle. So oh, did, my God. Did Flair ever step up and be like dad mode? Did that ever happen? I, I don't think know. it eventually he tries to, but I don't think it works as well. <laughs> like, I feel like David ends up telling him fuck off and then fucks Miss Hancock. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Sick. Hell yeah. <laughs> just, just being a kid, you know what I mean? Yeah. Arn says, for the first time in my life, I'm going to bow out. I don't want any part of the, uh, I don't want any part of this. I don't want nothing to do with Flair, Funk. I don't want nothing. This. I'm out of here. So he doesn't want part of the human. He won't be part of the human race anymore. The human race. He's the. That's how disgusted he is that his Sick. the man that he's known forever, Ric Flair, has turned into whatever. He's turned into the like you said earlier. It's it's he's worked himself into a shoot. <laughs> yeah, Ric Flair. <laughs> Great angle, man. Yeah, awesome said, angle. That was fucking. I loved it. Uh, we have Disco Inferno with the Mama Lukes oh, versus yeah. uh, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, we also have Harlem Heat, which is Stevie Ray, Big T, and Jay Biggs. Yes. Uh, it's Disco Inferno, the Disco Inferno versus Stevie Ray. Uh, is, so, I'm, is Disco the face here? No clue. All right. Don't feel like anyone ever nope. liked Disco. I don't think they, no, no, I mean, they, they like the theme and the entrance, but, uh, you yeah. know. It is the year 2000. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Big T and the Mama Lukes are outside arguing. I guess Jay Biggs was also there, but I think it was so far behind Big T that you just couldn't see him. <laughs> he was <Yeah>. um, limping. <laughs> they get thrown out real quick. Like Charles Robinson tries to break it up outside. He goes, hey, yeah, help! They're arguing. Yeah, <laughs> they're just arguing out there. And he goes, get out of here, man. So everyone gets kicked out of ringside. Yes. I mean, this match doesn't is a sneeze pretty much. This finish, though. What? Stevie, Stevie Ray oh, has the slapjack. He the has the, the physical slapjack. He goes to hit the disco ball? with the, the actual the, the slapjack, the the sock, snack the pack, big sock, the uh, snack pack. He's got the snack pack. pack. He yeah. hits. He goes to hit disco with the slapjack. Disco stops him. Then disco uses goes to use the snack pack, and Charles Robinson takes it. And then while he's distracted, I don't know. I would he low blow him? I think something must have happened. Uh, and then Stevie Ray hits his finisher, the slapjack, which is the just mad a, ball. A fucked up pedigree. <laughs> what the, he fucked fucking, up pedigree. Dude, this guy almost dies here. <laughs> Holy shit. He dumps him on his head. It's like that uh, that gif of Triple H doing the pedigree to whoever jobber that was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, just up and yeah. down on it. Yeah. yeah Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, this was... Uh, we need to get to that Booker match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need to get to that yeah, quick. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, we have the NWO backstage again. Again. Fucking um, again. Yeah, they don't even really say much on most of these. Um, Scott says, and if you know, they were, if you I couldn't hear it anyway. Because <laughs> I got every, yeah, everything's playing in the background, and yeah. they didn't mic them. Um, so Scott says, even if I win the bell, you know, we good, man, we're still family. And then Jared's like, eh, no, whatever, don't fuck, bitch, you ain't winning shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't winning nothing tonight. No, my yeah, get out of here. Uh, we got Sid Vicious promo. This is the funniest thing I probably <laughs> oh, <laughs> can imagine. This is so good. Yes, this is tremendous. Okay, so... Throughout the night, WCW was really big on just guys talking. Just guys, yes. you know, just talking. Guys um, being dudes. This was exactly. Russo just stealing that from the WWE. They would have done just like, hey, yeah, remember we did that in WWE? Just go this backstage. This was Sid uh, having one mode, and he always had one mode, and he can't turn it off. So Sid uh, is backstage with Mean Gene. Uh, mean Gene asked Sid a question about the match tonight, and Sid just goes, See, I don't care who <laughs> Jeff Jarrett or the WCW executive board throws him a path. It just don't matter, Gene. Yeah. Go, Jesus Christ. What uh, the whoa. fuck? Everyone all night. I can barely hear Scott Hall in the last segment. <laughs> just and Sid said, Oh, you're going to hear me. Yeah. <laughs> I got something and to say. Then Sid goes, Sid goes, Everyone tweet, treats the NWO like a monster. Whoa. <laughs> like six a six monster. monster. Or six headed monster. <laughs> Woo. What the fuck? This, guy's this is awesome. Master and Ruler of the World, Sid yes. Vicious from WWF. Same thing. Just going he crazy. He says, Tonight, you've. Vice, you face final extinction. <laughs> Total right, oblivion. Let, let, let's do that again. We're live, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Your career will be over. 
cool, Sid. That's my guy. <laughs> Sid's crazy. He's the fu- he's crazy. He is that is the perfect definition of him. He is crazy. Yeah. Uh, we got Ric Flair backstage. Wait, wait, he wait, leaves. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. You gotta Uh-oh. tune into Thunder. There's a graphic for Thunder. <laughs> you gotta hold on for this. <laughs> Watch <laughs> Thunder on, on Wednesday. The only time that they it's like this shitty little graphic with clouds <laughs> and then the Thunder logo. Tune in Wednesday, please. Yeah. Please watch Thunder. Please. Spoilers. We're going to no sit here all in. night. We're going to no sit here all night until you watch Thunder. Please. Please watch Thunder. <laughs> Somebody watch Thunder. So Rick Flair's backstage leaving in his limousine. With the broads. With the broads. And he's talking about what happened tonight. I guess he saw it on the CRTs. Uh, <laughs> Rick Flair says, I'm Rick Flair. I'm Rick Flair. <laughs> Ask anyone. I'm Rick Flair. Call me Rick Flair. <laughs> 26 bitches. He said, I had, I had something special for you, on, and now I gotta handle it. So, he was implying that he showed up to give a broad to Arn Anderson, and now Arn Anderson will not fuck said broad, so he has to go back and fuck said broad. I like Zero how bitches. I like how all of this, right, everything that's going down tonight, the one person he's mad at is Arn Anderson for not taking the side. <laughs> not like, Buck, <laughs> who just almost murdered his son. Not, not Scott Steiner, not who Scott made Stutter. from his crooked yellow teeth. <laughs> Just Arn Anderson who said, I'm done with this. Oh, yeah. fuck you, Arn. Yeah, How fuck you, Arn. I'm going to fuck your you. bitch now. <laughs> How dare you? I'm going to fuck your girl right now. <laughs> bitch. No hose for you. Yeah. Mr. Steal that. Your Girl, Ric Flair. Yeah. Fuck. So we have a... Uh, why did he show up? Why did he get... The, why Why was he at the show at all? He showed up to fuck bitches and leave. That's what why he does. Why did he have to fuck him there? Gotta work the himself into a shoot. Yeah, he's gimmick, yeah, fair enough. So we have a hardcore championship match. WCW hardcore title on the line. Bam Bam Bigelow versus Brian Knobs. Yes. Fit Finley is the referee. He is. Uh, Finley and Knobs come out together. Should, why? I think and they were together at just, one point, but I don't think they are anymore. So, so Finley comes out at the ref thing, and Knobs is like, "What the fuck? I thought I was wrestling you." So then that's why Finley. That's why he comes out after. He's like, "Wait, I thought we were having a match." No, I'm refing. Okay. The so total package was the one who broke Brian Knobs' arm. Yeah, had nothing. Why to do did with... he not want to fight? <laughs> why did he not want to fight the total package? <laughs> Yeah, he knew where he, he knew where he was on the. How roster. how long ago did he break his arm? Was it recent? Last I don't even last know. week. Oh, fuck. <laughs> One week ago. <laughs> oh, shit, I thought it was like a while ago. No. <laughs> hey, Ric Flair got so much shit talked about him that night and just left. I don't Dude, care. Before the match even starts, Bam Bam is in the ring and Nobs is coming down and Bam Bam just darts a trash can right on his head. I knew <laughs> right <laughs> away. <laughs> I knew right away they're going to beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> he just annihilated them. Just little. knew. Bam Bam attacks uh, his arm. He hits it with a crutch on the stairs and the crutch goes flying into the fucking crowd. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, when, when Luger broke Nobs' arm, it was so ridiculous. So, Knobs is <laughs> knocked not, out. Yeah, it's not like Pilmanizing style. Like, no, it it's is... the exact opposite. Knobs <laughs> <laughs> is laid out on the ground. He wraps the chair around his arm his and then wrist. steps on the chair and then yes. steps on the chair and then steps on the chair and then steps on the chair and Knobs sells none of it. Doesn't he lays even there. move. He's dead. Doesn't he is, even move. He is knocked unconscious from it. <laughs> oh, Breaking no. his bones in half literally <laughs> doesn't even doesn't Multiple even affect times. him. <laughs> he is so schlepped that he can't fucking even react to his arm being broken. What's even oh, better man. is that it happens again. <laughs> 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 The same exact thing. <laughs> this guy, man. I don't know, Ugh. man. This guy. But yeah, these two just have a hardcore match. Bam Bam gets thrown into a ladder. Then Nobs rushes at him and Bam Bam moves. And then Lobs hits the ladder and the ladder falls down and hits Nobs, which is great. And then James, what was the finish here? I need you to tell me because I, I don't think fucking, I, I don't know. It. I don't I know missed what happened here. Okay, so <laughs> Bigelow is setting these chairs up. We're gonna get like a like a bomb through a chair or something yes. or just mm-hmm. anything. In uh, so he sets these chairs up. So then Finley hands Brian Knobs a trash can who's sitting on the on the top rope. Yes. He hands Knobs a trash can to use. And then he hits Knobs with a chair. Knobs <laughs> <laughs> hits Bam Bam with a trash can and then Finley hits Knobs with a chair and then puts Bam Bam on him. And what Bam Bam the wins. Fuck? Bam Bam wins the hardcore title. What the fuck? <laughs> and then nothing happens after. <laughs> On commentary, they say, Oh, I think Finley thought he was calling it down the middle because he helped both guys out. My favorite part was commentary as it was happening. They're just like, What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Tony Schiavone cannot explain this. He's got nothing for this, man. No. It's whatever. Oh, Who well. cares? 
Uh, so then we got uh, Lenny Lane and <laughs> Idol, Lodi, whoever. Who are you people? <laughs> Uh, they're backstage and they see Disco and the Mama Lukes who got yes. their ass kicked tonight. And he goes, "How did your ass feel? Because it just got kicked." Oh, and it breaks into a shit! Fight. This Supposed felt very AEW here. Supposedly, there's two things that got cut from this as well uh, that weren't on the network that I'm seeing oh, here. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, mean Gene did a promo with Kitty B. Bad, who says he's been on the road with James Brown, and I, I, I guess that's Ernest Miller, maybe. Yeah, uh, I think so. And James Brown will be at Thunder. So maybe we should tune in. Oh, wow. Tuning in. And also... How much you want to bet he's not? I'm <laughs> fucking positive he's no, not. James, <laughs> he's not. James Brown also, actually came to WCW. Yeah, yeah but definitely not on w fucking Thunder. Yeah, Thunder? <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday night at midnight. And the also, there, they, there was a promo for uh, The Late Show with actor Steve Borden. That was how they <laughs> nice. did it. <laughs> nice. Who could that be? <laughs> I don't know. He, He's not likely to be staying. No, but yes, then that was then the regular stuff happens. Uh, so then Billy Kidman and Tori are walking to the ring with the kid cam. No, they're both, oh, they're both the kid no. camera. They're both the, in cahoots with the kid cam. The child VHS. Oh, no, they're gonna. <laughs> yeah, no, stop! Don't do this. Get this off. This is bad. This is terrible. Who who greenlit this? All right, uh. so who this is this is going to be something. So we have Billy Kidman versus the Demon. The kiss God demon, thunder. by the way. If you got, maybe you guys don't. Do you, you got to explain the demon? Like, so the, yeah, the let people me, not know the kiss yeah, demon? Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, you know. okay. Let me tell them. Let me run them through here. So okay. we got Billy Kidman, who's in the middle of a pretty big push here. Kidman after 2000 gets a pretty big push for whatever mm -hmm. reason. They decided he's the man. About he's time. on a three win streak here. Uh, we have the demon come out. The demon comes out of a casket, which we saw backstage with Crowbar earlier, mm -hmm. and goes, yes. bleh. He, yes. Okay. And he goes bleh because he is Gene Simmons. Okay, so let's explain this. All right. First off, I just want to say this much. The demon presentation kind of rules. He looks actually, cool as fuck. There's also like yeah. uh one of the few figure toy company figures that looks fucking great is their Kiss Demon figure. If anyone can find that, it's fucking awesome. So this guy uh that plays the demon at this point is Dale Torborg. Yes. Uh Dale Torborg is in great shape. He looks phenomenal. He, he is also huge. Yeah, he's he towers over Kidman here. He yes. looks great. Um, he might not be great at this, like the logistics of wrestling, but for sure. moves and like getting there, he's mm -hmm. he's he is good enough to be a top guy at WCW. Absolutely, at this point. <laughs> like there. <laughs> if very, you really very... wanted to, yes, you could hide everything and make him a top guy. Okay, so this character was original. Let's talk about the uh, the uh, the origins of this character. Sure. Okay? Mm -hmm. So at this point, the demon is simply a guy who likes Gene Simmons a lot. <laughs> This yes. is this is how they. He's not a member of Kiss. He is no affiliation with Kiss, except for he looks like Kiss and he uses their music. He uses their music. Big Gene Simmons guy. Yes. All right. So the original gimmick of this is fucking nuts. So this was an Eric Bischoff project. It was supposed to be a stable of guys called the Warriors of Kiss, and uh, it would pretty much just be the band, but as wrestlers. Yeah. That was the right. original idea, mm -hmm. and Kiss was like, "Fuck yeah, let's sign him up," you know. So the demon started off as Dale Torborg, the guy in the match. Right. But yeah. it was actually going to be Brian Adams as the demon who actually what? made a few. What the fuck? The Brian Adams actually made a few appearances as the demon. Really? He never the wrestled OG? as the demon. Was he OG demon or no? Yeah. Like Whoa. he was, he never actually wrestled a match as the demon. But he but showed he, up. Yeah. At two times he was the demon. Wow. Uh, and then Brian Adams said, I don't want to do this. And they said, okay. Then <laughs> 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 they gave it back to Dale Torborg. Fair. Who started wrestling? So, Bischoff scored this deal with Kiss because Bischoff was good at like getting these weird He's off big deals. He's a yeah, guy. I mean, they, yeah, there was a lot of day. weird music combinations. Yeah, with them. Bischoff yeah. was a good negotiator for the most part, sure. at least from what it seems like. Yeah, um, he was able to swindle himself into those deals with with uh, you know the superstation and stuff. So like yeah. that's pretty <laughs> yeah, good, right? Exactly. Um, so he scored this deal with Kiss, and in the contract it said the Demon would get a main event match. Yes. So Eric Bischoff lost his position in WCW in September of last year. So it's February of 2000. He lost it in 99, right at the ass end of the year. Yeah. Uh, so at this upcoming Super Brawl, they gave the Demon a match at Super Brawl. They talk about it in this match. They go, well, we won't really know who he's facing. They give the Demon a match at Super Brawl called the Special Main Event Match. Do you know why it was called that? Because in the contract that Bischoff got with Kiss... 
Kiss negotiated a deal that said the demon would be in a main event pay per view match on a WCW pay per view. So they just as called the it demon. a main so event. So they called this match the special main event oh match. Oh my god! It was the, the carnies. It was the fourth match on the card <laughs> oh, against the wall, oh. <laughs> and oh. he lost. <laughs> what? Oh, How long was the match? God. Not long at all. Wall oh, choke slammed him. Take it home. He Dude. lost fourth on the card. Fourth on the card in a special main event match. It was, is what three it was minutes built. and thirty seven wow. seconds. Wow, not even they, five minutes. They buried the fuck out of the demon as a spite to Bischoff. They all, uh, Kiss did a live performance on Nitro too at one point, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, it was, was a, this was a huge deal, deal for, yeah. for Bischoff and WCW. And then they buried the fuck out of the demon. That was, uh, that, dude, of course, I, I didn't know that part. That's unbelievable. Wow. Um, of course, you know you know a lot about this. He joined the Dark Carnival later on with ICP yes. and Vampiro. Which fuck, is, yeah. The Dark <laughs> Carnival is actually really cool. What a um, fucking, fucking, so many weird names. Vampiro, ICP, Muda. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Carnival. Very even. Cool. Yeah, all right, awesome. Um, but yeah, that is the origin and the life of the demon character in WCW. That is, wow. That's, That's so crazy. How, how, long after, how much kiss. longer after this does the demon exist? I'm not sure. I guess it goes a little bit longer because they do the Dark, oh, Carnival, Dark Carnival stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. That's but crazy. That story was so fucking interesting to me. I just That's, that's like the that's most pro wrestling yeah. thing I've ever heard in my entire yeah. life. Uh, and of course, it wow. leads up with Mark Bango. Very impressive tongue on the demon. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, do you? Does that? I don't know how that works. How long would that have that contract have been? Because they use, unless I'm, unless it's a really good Jimmy Hart cover. This is they definitely just use God of Thunder by Kiss on this network recording. That was his theme song. I guess they license it. But for like, how do you get this? away with that? Maybe it was grandfathered in, and it said maybe. like in, any just anywhere forever? the demon. Yeah, maybe anywhere wow. the demon. Because I get the whole character was just a it was just kiss. kiss. It was just yeah. a kiss. It was character. to yeah, sell absolutely. their music, is what it was. Well, it was originally supposed to be the band. It was supposed to yeah. be the band as wrestlers, but then they turned it into like a Kiss super fan character. That's. But didn't they, well, they also, also try to crow, they try to <laughs> turn Crowbar into a Kiss super fan character? That yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I think somewhere they like forgot that they did that. Yeah, or they just wanted to make Crowbar look really stupid. So, which uh, that's probably it too. They probably wanted to make them both look really stupid. So Kidman yeah. ends up pinning the demon with an avalanche Frankensteiner. Yes, um, just straight up beats him. That's There's it. one thing I do want. To, well, two things I want to note here. Uh, Crowbar was jamming backstage to <laughs> Kiss's or <laughs> Kiss Demon's song. entrance. Uh, the belt that the Kiss Demon wears looks horrible to wrestle in. It's just a. I don't even know how to describe. It's just a big. Like double sized Hulk Hogan weight belt. Yeah, I don't even know. They, I know a few wrestlers now that wrestle with one of those. Well, on. Is it just for support? Because it looks yeah. horrible to wrestle in. Okay. Yeah, I think. It, well, it's just like also to cover your midsection too. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Tor yeah, that's fair. Uh, Tori Wilson uh, is at ringside for this. The fans are chanting for Tori. They must be super into this match. Tori is wearing. Tori also wearing the same outfit that Mira wore on Dynamite last week. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh off the wedding. That's yes. Awesome. The demon at one point in this match, goes on the second rope and tries to go for an elbow drop. I have never in my life seen anybody go for a, an aerial maneuver and jump and not move anywhere at all. <laughs> yes, you have. Yes, you have. He, he yes, you have. Who? Billy Kidman has done it multiple times. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's, you know what? Okay, you got me there. Well, he must have gotten great inspiration from Billy Kidman after this match. Oh, he jumps fuck. up into the air and just falls straight down. <laughs> that was a true ski one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as you said, Kidman won with the Frankensteiner. And then Crowbar jumps Billy Kidman after the match because he loves, he loves Kiss. And he starts bowing to the demon and he's like, what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? Me, bro. Yeah, Why didn't he, he just, accept it? He, he starts bowing down to the demon, and the demon's like, dude, I, what the fuck? I just like Kiss. I just like Kiss. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not Gene not Kiss. Simmons. Go this away. Is, my name is the demon. I'm not Gene I'm Simmons. I'm Dale. <laughs> Dale Corborn. Bro, I'm Dale. <laughs> I'm Dale. I'm the Dale. Dale. <laughs> <laughs> the Dale. <laughs> oh. Wow. What a, what a, this was. That's crazy. Again, like I said, things I that love... just probably won't happen in wrestling ever again. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of like 
the, this is the one time only pro phase. wrestling experience yeah. here. You don't see this in any other form of entertainment. It just doesn't yeah. fucking happen. No. Um, the demon, like I said, I, I, you guys agree, right? This guy was actually pretty fucking cool. The look and the the entrance, awesome. Yeah, it was cool. His moves, he looks yeah. big. The moves he could do were good too. Good head, good. He did presence. a pretty awesome DDT to Kidman in the match too. It looked fantastic. The yeah. way Kidman took it was great. Yeah. I think he did like butterfly suplex at one point too. Um, just good he stuff. was definitely. They could have molded him. I think so too, but yeah. they decided to just bury him and yeah. then tell him to fuck, fuck off. Kiss. I think he went back to his old job. I think he was supposed to have like a he WWE a dude, tryout. Right? Yeah, I think he. I don't remember. Yeah, it was something to do with medicine or something. I think right or no. Um, he was a trainer. Like he was a like yeah. I thought he was like builder, a co- yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Um, so he was supposed to go to WWE for a tryout. Um, because when they were bringing in all the WCW guys. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he just didn't. He said, I'm going back to my old job. <laughs> probably <laughs> probably he had a, a couple choice. matches at TNA. He went to TNA. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he had a little TNA run. I think he did stuff with... Uh, was he just uh, Dale Torborg? He was Dale Torborg. Yeah, and I Dale think he did Torborg. stuff with Lance Hoyt. Yeah, he had a match with Lance Hoyt. Was That's it a cool. singles or a tag? Was he tagging with like a baseball guy? Against all odds, guy? 07, he was, uh, it was a base brawl match. And he a was in it. fucking oh, course it was a base oh, brawl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Of course it was. Um, so after that, it shows a close-up of Sid smiling real fucking weird. He's laughing. A very large laugh. laugh. He's laughing, laughing but you can't hear it. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the best part. It's him smiling real fucking weird, and then he starts laughing. <laughs> and no one can hear it. I don't know what's going on. Um, so then we get Lex Luger on the way to the ring with Miss Elizabeth with a steel chair that says Hulkster on it. Uh, Did you hear we... yes, the noise? Yes. What the f- was that a dolphin? What was that? It was like chickens or a dolphin <laughs> or something going on. Maybe it's it Terry Funk's chicken chickens. farm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Chickens. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this was, though. I had to go back it like three me. times. I'm like, is that... What is going on here? I thought I had like other songs playing. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> so we have Luger versus Hogan at Super Brawl. The total package graphics. he's called at this point. Yeah, excuse he's not you, Luger. It's the total package? He's the total I'm package. Sorry. Sorry, TP. Sorry. I am Cornholio. I am Vince Russo. I need TP on my nitro. We have an NWO backstage segment. Literally incoherent. Don't I don't know what they said. I didn't even write it down. I have no idea what they said. Um basically. Jared, Based. you know, like uh, J- the clean. NWO's like, let me see your text, and Jared's like, no, 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 you can't look at my text. That's what that was. <laughs> That's the phone's about to ring. Jared's like, I'm waiting for a phone call, but they don't know who's on the phone. I don't know what the not. outcome of that ever comes, but maybe it's Nash. I don't know who that he got is. A text he was calling an ambulance. He got a text. He opened it up and it said, "So I had to ask myself." And he said, "I'm not." <laughs> oh no! I'm not, not looking at this. <laughs> um. All right. So we get Alex Luger promo. Total package. We get a Lex Luger promo. <laughs> it's total, it's the total. It, there's no it's Lex like total Luger. package on the nameplate. There is no the nameplate. Luger. It's total gear package. says TP. Total package, please. So we get TP in Thank the you. ring. Hmm. <laughs> yes, TP. And in the he ring. is so fucking He's jacked. Gigantic. It's unbelievable. <laughs> he is. You could not fit one more ounce of the juice <laughs> in this man. <laughs> uh, so Miss Elizabeth. In his entrance to the ring, strips oh. TP's clothes off hmm. as he stands in the middle of the ring, flexing with a spotlight on him. Yes. Oh the my god! His... I like this. I like this. This music is fucking ridiculous, too. Dude, the music is crazy. His lat spread is so unbelievable. Here, his upper body. Oh my god! He's huge. I was, I was just uh, just blown away. Legit looks like a statue. Um, Miss Elizabeth was also extremely hot here too, dude. Real for yeah, real, she was just yeah. extremely hot. Um, so I guess Hulk Hogan returned to being Immortal Hulk Hogan on Thunder. He's a man. <laughs> Is that on Thunder, man. bro? You gotta watch Thunder, says, man. We're telling you, yeah. <laughs> James Brown's gonna be on Thunder. You better fucking tune in. <laughs> They probably Fake paid Hogan a ton of too. money. <laughs> Steve Please Orton? go to Thunder. <laughs> Dobby Actors. was there? <laughs> Dude, the you know if you, wanted, if you wanted to actually sell Thunder, instead of showing like that Thunder graphic, you should have talked about Hogan being on Thunder, and then that probably would have made people want to watch Thunder. do anything on Thunder? That'd be cool. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Luger true. Act, or uh, TP actually cut a really good promo here. Yeah, this is Dude, good. Dude, I, I was going to say that too. I don't remember Lu- uh, TP being a, a big <laughs> promo guy, but this was like... Mm. Stellar, actually. 
Yeah, he talks about him being 4% body fat every single day of his fucking life. <laughs> I'm ripped and I work out every day. How the hell How dare you question, you question my yeah, track how dare record? You question him. Yeah, yeah. He said, you he said I won't be no damn comedy act. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dude, that line was sick. He said, you were on the mountaintop looking down at everyone else, but not anymore. This was like a Steiner promo, actually. <laughs> he said, you won't be calling me a comedy act when I put you in the rack and break you in two. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, that's awesome. So I had to ask myself, Jimmy Hart, you old bitch, come out of here. Jimmy Hart, come on down. Jimmy Hart comes out just after producing his latest album, it looked like. <laughs> He's all mic'd up. He's, got He's still ready for his Twitch stream, dude. He's got his mic on, his headset, oh, yeah, his gamer man. headset. <laughs> He's got a Red Bull. He's ready to stream. Kind of weird, champ, daddy. Jimmy Hart tells him, uh, he's all you, <laughs> all you are is a Hulk Hogan wannabe, daddy. <laughs> In your lifetime, you'll never ever sell as many arenas as Hulk Hogan. There's more people Jimmy. to send Hulk Hogan fan mail than watch you at house shows. <laughs> Fuck. That was good. Jimmy says he doesn't work for Rest Western Union. He doesn't, He's, so he doesn't deliver messages. He that says was good. every time you pick up a check from WCW, you're stealing money. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking mean. That's for shoot. That's for true. That's oh, for true. Fuck, Tub. That's pretty true. I love that. What did TP say this for? He said, I am equal or better than Hogan. What a weird <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> He was being honest. <laughs> he's trying yeah. to say that he's on Hogan's level, but he yeah. said it really fucking weird. Yeah, equal, or better. <laughs> better. equal to Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan's pretty great. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm not in the match anymore, Jimmy. Uh, Luger then puts Jimmy Hart in the rack. <laughs> just put some up. Just just put him give him a message. Rack. There you this go. is kind of weird. He says, uh, Hogan put his hands on Liz last week, but he doesn't have the vicious streak as I do. And I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, and he, crazy. He yeah, said you should have hit her. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 so that, oh, I meant to say up. TP put Jimmy Hart in the rack. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. TP puts Jimmy Hart's arm in the chair. He breaks Jimmy Hart's arm. <laughs> he he does. He he puts his arm in the chair after putting it in the rack, and he said it's the same thing he did to Sting, Buff Bagwell, Brian Knobs, and he stops on his arm. And he stops on his arm, and Jimmy Hart knows sells it. <laughs> they call this Lugerizing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Yeah, Jimmy Hart's arm is also now broke. Uh, so we go backstage. Scott Hall walking backstage. Sid walking backstage yelling his name. <laughs> <For a fucking laughs> guy. Sid's fired up. Scott Hall's like sauntering. Like, he don't want to be there. He's Hall like, oh, is fuck. drunk. Yeah. Very drunk. Uh, we have Sid Vicious versus Scott Hall, the main event of the evening. Um, wow. All right. So we get into this match. Sid does the absolute worst 10 count punch in the corner I've probably ever seen thing. in my entire <laughs> life. I said Sid hits the worst 10 punches I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the crowd loves this shit. The crowd goes Fuck nuts that. for it. It matters yeah. to me. It the doesn't cat. matter because Sid look is like over shit. the crowd. I'm out of it. No, the crowd loves this shit. All right, Tony, so I had to ask myself, do I really <laughs> think these punches are good or do I think Ric Flair's an old Tony, bitch? Tony, how about you go fix your old cooking teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it doesn't matter because Sid's Dude, fucking over it. a guy that big should not be throwing bullshit punches. Yeah, it was bullshit. WCW. He's the champ. I don't think you remember. Come on, Sid, you don't remember dude, the times, come dude. On, man. It doesn't matter. Sid. The Let's crowd loved this better. shit. Crowd Fuck counted the crowd. They loved it. Uh, no, so, no. So, so Sid the crowd also loved them hating women. Tony, did you like that too? <laughs> they like Oklahoma. <laughs> it was a different time. Okay, it was a different time. Oh yeah, you're doing. right. <laughs> uh, so Sid has a choke slam. Doesn't go for the pin. Uh, commentary says the match is over. He's got the win. <laughs> And then Scott Hall just stands up and pokes him in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He does. He does. He, the choke slam was also cool. It wasn't like he didn't like throw the arm over. He just grabbed him by the neck and lifted him, him in the air. It was awesome. Yeah, it was sick. Um, so Scott then does a fall away slam that hits the referee and the referee goes flying. I mean, whoa. he just goes, whoa, straight to the ropes. <laughs> All right, on this match is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, Jarrett comes out with the U.S. belt still around his waist. <laughs> and uh, the guitar. And, the, and they both attack Sid. Uh, they throw him into the crowd, and then they throw him into the announcer table. Yes. And then uh, Jarrett's walking away from the match. You know, I'm not too sure what Jarrett's idea of this was. Maybe he thought the match would get thrown out. But Jarrett walks up the ramp yeah, and he, says... Yeah, he comes out to help Hall win, and then Hall hits the... Tries to win. He he tries to win. He hits the outsider's edge, which I was also impressed by. I was like, oh, shit. That's a big dude it to be hitting that too, on. yeah. Yeah, it did. He hits him with it, and Jarrett turns around, and he's like, the fuck? What do you think you're doing? What do you mean? You, what did what? you come out here for? What are you hoping it for then? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, as he's walking up the ramp, he says, slap not that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, so he hits the outside's edge, and then Jarrett gets back in the ring, and he's like, 
what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, He's like, what, what did you mean? Uh, like, <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what this angle yeah, is, I don't Jared. want to be in this match. You put me in this match, Jared. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, so they're, trying to, they're trying to split the NWO up sure. here. And, oh, no, and I then, get what they're trying to but do. But Jared, why did he... But they're not doing it. <laughs> so They're the, just supposed the, to go out here, beat the shit out of Sid, make him look I mean, bad, and set him up for Jared at the pay-per-view. But Hall's like, theory, I'm going to win the gold. This is the first time said, I'm ever going to win the title. <laughs> yeah. Well, they say that was it the board of directors that made the decision to make this a title match? Was that who it was? Yeah. Uh, that was so TNA they management. Said, they, said, they said they couldn't <laughs> change who was in the match, but couldn't, couldn't Jeff Jarrett do it? We can't do anything. Couldn't Nobody Jeff could Jarrett, the guy that made the match, change the participants in the match no, to somebody else? Th they say they can't change the fucking match. Well, the match fucking changes because it's a triple threat match at the pay-per-view. Well, they, yeah, that match changes too. Yeah, it's Sid and Jarrett and and They uh, can't Hall. change the participants. They can add participants. Uh, why, why didn't Jarrett add all of the NWO into this match? Because they didn't want him to win. <laughs> and then let him win. Add Jarrett to the match. Let him get the pin on Sid. Yeah, yeah what the fuck? I add me. <laughs> um, so Jarrett pulls Sid on top of Hall after he hits I him with the guitar. Guitar pa! Wakes the referee up because the referee was just sleeping. Yes. <laughs> he says the referee was just laying there. And well, the well, well. Goes, hey, you got to go count it. So he goes, oh, okay. So he True. wakes up and goes to count it. Patrick, yeah. Uh, and then Sid Vicious wins. And the NWO come out onto the ramp uh, as Jared's leaving. They're like, bro, what the fuck? And Jared looks back and he says, you're either with me, the chosen one, or you're that cho, with cho, that cho, bitch. Cho, 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 cho. <laughs> <laughs> Slap like that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and that was the end of the show. What a show. fans! That Spoiler was... alert, they join Jeff Jarrett, and I think Scott Hall gets fired for being drunk and then goes to ECW, <laughs> and that's pretty cool. ECW. So, yeah, and Sid, uh, Sid retains the title at the pay-per-view in eight minutes, by the way. Nice. Eight minutes? Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, Sid holds on to the title until Russo comes out, and Russo Bischoff strips Sid from the <laughs> belt and say, all, all titles are vacant now. So that's how that oh, title that's all time. <laughs> that's all time for shit right there. <laughs> I mean, Sid was over here. Crowd liked him, but then they're like, yeah, fuck all better that. Take We're going to No, it was fine. The, punch the crowd was horrible. loved it. Yeah. Dude, I would have counted along. At this point, going from what we saw. Spit on the ground. <laughs> I would have started punching him myself. <laughs> I'll do the damn part. Yeah, I'll show you how to do some punches right now. I liked it. All right. What a fucking show. There's like, so much going on here, man. So, like, I like I know we talked about this for a while, but there was just too much going on here that, that we yeah. couldn't gloss over anything. This was I can't I can't fathom who bought this pay-per-view <laughs> after watching this show. This all, is fucking all those crazy. Nuts. <laughs> all the hoochies? <laughs> All the hoochies are slap nuts. <laughs> like, no, what? Slap are you nuts. a hoochie or are you a slap nut? Uh, if there's anything to be told here, uh, I, WCW should have never died. It was not meant I to agree. die. I agree. It was not I meant agree. to die. I mean, <laughs> even, okay, when they didn't have the NWO go over and then heal stuff as they usually did. They had Sid actually go over at the pay view, which I guess sure. is better, right? Because they usually. Hank Abbott almost he, kills a guy. Demon gets dropped out. That's awesome. When does I Jared once actually. Again, what? I am once again reminding everyone that WCW did not go out of business because of booking decisions. No, they got fucked on deals. That's all it was. Yeah. They couldn't they shouldn't have let go of Eric Bischoff. No. Honestly, what the fuck were y'all thinking? <laughs>